awkward and that's not fun I wanna get away but I'm too tired to run I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules And the world is wild I have the tools to make things happen And the reaction will explode Hey, Dana. Everything all right? <sighs> yeah, just a little tired. Every day I get here at dawn to organize the class, list all the rules, put the boxes inside the boxes. Hey, Dana, have you seen my box? Yeah, it's inside the box. Oh, goody. Thanks. Jenny, have you actually traveled to all those places on your bike? Yep, I've been everywhere, man. I've been to every floor of Wayside, except the 19th. But they say the 19th floor doesn't even exist. Uh-huh, the only one I've missed. Ooh, I wish I had your sense of adventure and freedom. I'm like a box inside a box inside a box. I spent all day organizing stuff. Not like you! You're so well-rounded. Your helmet's round, your wheels are round. You go around the world? I've never even seen all of Wayside. Time to bust out of Boxville? Wanna borrow my ride? Really? I can take your bike? Best kind of freedom is the kind to share. Ride like the wind, Sister D. <laughs> Uh, 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 Dana. You need a hall pass for all 30 floors to ride like the wind and taste the sweet growth of freedom. Okay, can I get a 30-floor hall pass? Sure. Last time I checked, they were somewhere inside those boxes. Uh-oh. <sighs> Take mine, Sister D. Now go, and don't look back. fun to see the whole world. Or at least every floor of Wayside. Okay, class. Everyone take out a pencil Mrs. and... Jules, where are our pencils? Uh? Well, uh, in the pencil thingy. No, oh, I don't know. Dana usually hands them out. Dana's not here. What do we do? Not to worry. As your sometime class president, I can handle this. Here. That's not a pencil. It's a fish! Off on 
a wayside road trip, including the 19th floor. Oh, ho, ho! 19th floor, huh? I got just a thing for you. Hey, Sammy! I shot a skunk! Two center line bovines! Gang it and bang it! Here you go. A little surprise to tide you over. Has anyone seen my assignment? Not me! Where's my Fluffy? I can't read my fish's handwriting! Huh. Wait! Come back! You need to help me with my mathematics! Okay, class, time to hand in your assignment to Dana. Oh, uh, uh I mean to, to, uh... Oh, don't worry! I've got it, Mrs. Jules! Anything else? What do you want? What, 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 what do you want? Mm. Yeah. This is Jules. <laughs> Maybe it's time we find Dana. Nonsense. I've got it completely under control. Where's Dana? My head is stuck. I can't see. Really? Maybe we just need more light in here. Careful, Myron! Dana's the only one who ever touches those drapes. Pshaw! What could go wrong? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll just close the window. It's okay. A little rain never hurt anyone. Woo! Now I know we're safe. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Ah, see? Rain's ending. Lightning too. Everything will be just fine. At least the worst is over. Uh, maybe we should find Dana. She's not under here. Ah, I needed this break. I've never felt so free. It's like I'm almost out of that box. And I can finally breathe again. <gasps> Hello, Dana. What a coincidence. We were just talking about you in class. Really? You were? What were you saying? Help! Help! Please, please come back to class, Dana, before things get completely out of control. Mm -hmm. I'm like a box inside a box inside a box! No way! That's the old stuck in a box, Dana. See? I told you. I'm not done seeing the world. Or at least all 30 floors of Wayside. I still have the 19th to go. Well, that's that. I'm just going to go upstairs and finish organizing Mrs. Jewel's class. Organize the class? We gotta get Dana back. And I know just the sister to do it. My math! My mathematics! Now for the last floor. Never seen 19! Okay, okay, I can do this! I've got to finish my journey and bust out of my box for good! Hold on there, Sister D. There's a good reason I've never seen the 19th floor, you know. Legend says that's where the door to Miss Zarv's class was supposed to go. Miss Zarv's? Uh-huh. A few years back, this kid, Nick, wanted to find out what's up there. He was a bit of a daredevil, too. Aimed himself right at that door area. So did he find the 19th floor? No, of course not. He just broke his arm. Oh. But the weird thing is... Miss Zarv's sign 
find his cast. Creepy. <gasps> Look, Sister D. Whoa. Miss Sars. Bag back now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> hey guys, I've just seen all of Wayside. The Wayside tour is complete. Not quite, Dana. There's still one more stop you gotta make. Right, Myron? Oh. Dana, could you please come up to the 30th floor and fix the horrible mess that is all my fault? No problem, brother M. Sounds like a crazy adventure. We are so glad to have you back. Yeah! 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 Okay, back to our lesson. What's 4,615,320 times 6,493,121 divided by 4,036 minus 923,000 plus 5,300? than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a herd of cows. Able to leap 30 story schools in a single bound. It's, it's, it's Mr. Kitswater. Possessing remarkable intellect and disguised as humble principal of Wayside, Mr. Kitswater fights a never ending battle for education and etiquette. He has a big desk. And a microphone, too! And when he talks, everyone listens. Attention, students! Attention! 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 This is your principal speaking. He is so powerful and important, I want to be powerful and important, too! Just like him. That's why he's my hero. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Thank you for that incredible report on your personal hero, Myron. But I'm not done. I have a scrapbook full of Mr. K, photos, mementos, and even bootleg recordings of his PA announcements. I remixed them. Raise the roof, y'all! Let me hear you in the back row! Did you hear that? Morgan! My hero needs me! Stupid go black! Ooh. Oh, hey there, Milo. It's Myron. Ooh. How do I look today? There's only one word for that. Ow! Foxy. You the man, Mr. K. Thanks, Mirror. It's Myron. Not you, Marvin. I'm talking to the mirror. Oh. Thanks, Marsha. <sighs> now to get down to business. It's Myron. But you know that, Mr. Kid Spotter. <gasps> Looks like you need a new scrapbook. Actually, I need a new locker. I'm running out of room to store all my Mr. K fan memorabilia. I know Kid Swatter's your hero, Myron, but sometimes, don't you think he could appreciate you a little more? <gasps> Todd, 
How can you say that? Well, because of the fact that he doesn't even know your name? He doesn't? Oh, Joe! Morty! Molly! Morgan! Mooch! Melvin! Mario! Mickey! Mojo! Mickey Monkey Mo! Oh, those are just his pet names for me. According to my records, I've also heard him call you Mustard, Mop, Muffler, Marshmallow. At least he gets the M right. Myron, he has no idea who you are. If you don't believe me, let's ask him. <laughs> Water, we got a question. Uh, just working. Let me get that, Mr. Kids Water. Oh. Thanks a lot, Munchie. It's Myron. Who? Mr. Kids Water, we're trying to prove a point. Can you just tell us what Myron's name is? Sure. It's. Mm. Think hard. He's your biggest fan. Mr. K, you know this. My win. Okay, that's enough. He got the M right, and that's good enough for me. Wait, I know. It's Lawrence. <laughs> Lawrence? No! What's with that Marty kid? I've been such a fool. Such a, a, a Lawrence. Myron, we didn't mean to upset you. We just didn't want Mr. Kidswater to take advantage of you anymore. Yeah, maybe you should just give up on Kidswater and find a new hero. <laughs> like my favorite superstar, Annie Wheels! She's the only kid to ever complete a quadruple inside out reverse Mobius twist. Here she goes. Her final attempt. Manny Wheeler has nailed it again. Every time I try. Woohoo! Oh, Annie. I am not worthy. Nah. I think I need someone a little more exciting. Well, if excitement's your game, try my hero, Melville Lewis Cousin Dewey of the Dewey Decimal System, the single most effective form of organization in the world. Dana, I think your Dewey did him in. But wait till he sees my hero. Lieutenant Logic. He thinks everything through to its most logical conclusion, and then he saves the day. Uh, if that's the practical thing to do, of course. Why isn't he in color? Because he only sees in black and white. You can run, but you can't hide from the logic hammer! That doesn't make any sense. Who cares about logic anyway? I'm off to find a new hero. Okay, show me what you got. Excuse me? I said, show me what you got. Sounds a bit confused. Can you try it again? This time more heroic! Um, okay. But why? Didn't you read the sign-up sheet when you walked into the audition? I'm looking for a new hero. Someone powerful, important, and inspiring. I just came here to change a light bulb. Next! Here you go, Babootski. Nice, big hero sandwich. Ooh, that's not the kind of hero I was thinking of, but why not? Mmm, say, this is good. What's in it anyway? It mostly wet sand with a little bit of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? <laughs> Yuck! Next! down for a call back. We'll be in touch. Hey, 
box. <gasps> My complexion. Hmm. Strange. Where's my coffee? Maybe I'll have a donut. Something is definitely missing around here. But what? Next! 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 Hey! Next! Next! Ah! A hero should inspire me and somehow make my life better every day. I'll never find anyone here like that. Help! Has anyone seen my hero? Mr. Kidswater? You're looking for who? My personal hero. I can't find him anywhere. What an amazing fella. Somehow made my life even better every day. And made great donuts. Wow! What's the name of this most incredible hero person? I believe it's... Lawrence, know him? No, can't say I do, but he sounds like hero material to me. Whatever, I'll just have to keep looking for him. Hero? Hero, where are you? Dana, we need to find this Lawrence kid. I can make him my hero too. Myron, don't you get it? You're, You're Lawrence. Lawrence. Remember Mr. Kitswater called you that when you tried to think of your name. Hmm. You mean I'm actually Mr. K's hero? And my own hero, too? And your own biggest fan! Hero! Where are you? Hold on, Mr. Kidswater! I'll help! Where's the goose axe? <laughs> oh, there you are, Lawrence. So glad you could help. That's what a great hero does. Especially if that hero is also his own biggest fan. Whatever. Come on, Lester. Let's get some donuts. It's Lawrence. If you say so, Lorraine. Attention, students. Attention. Let the Wayside Games begin! Welcome to the Wayside Games, where we will witness the glory of victory and the agony of defeat. Winners, losers, people with microphones. This is what sports are all about. Let's join our competitors. The Wayside Games are like these totally awesome physical contests. 
That's right, Lewis. There are two super athletes to watch out for this year. Mauricia. And Eric. No, the other Eric. No, the other, other Eric. Whoa! Mauricia and Eric would make an awesome team. Yes, but this year we're being extra fair and choosing all teams randomly. What? That's not fair! Who's gonna cream the competition now? Why, the winner, of course. We <laughs> <laughs> games! Referee Kisswater will decide the teams by the traditional wayside randomizing voting system. Let's check it out, dudes. All right, everyone, place your names in the randomizing voting pail. Ooh. Here are the teams. Jenny and Cherie. Dana and John. Yeah! Bibi and Leslie. Yeah! Steven and... and... A pumpkin. Yeah! Next, Eric and Eric. Yeah! No, I said Eric and Eric. Much better. Next team, Todd and Eric. Yeah! Don't worry, Eric. I'm pretty good at this kind of stuff. I should be able to carry us both to victory. Uh, whatever you say, Todd. And finally, Mauricia and Myron. We are so doomed. Whoa there, partner. We've got these games in the bag. The first race is to the top of Wayside. All 30 stories. Ooh, they're about to start. On your mark, get set, go! And they're off. It's neck and neck and pumpkin as the racers sprint. Come on, Myron, let's go! Gotta pace ourselves, Mauricia. If we try too hard, we'll just... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Come on, teammate! Eric and Todd take the lead. Yeah! Hey, Mrs. Jules. But it looks like Team Myron is hot on their trail. Oh, uh, hey, Myron. Hey, Todd. How's it going? Uh, I'm letting Eric handle this first race. He knows I'm more of a closer, a powerhouse kind of guy. Me too. I just wish there wasn't so much sweat involved in all of this. Myron, what are you doing? Um. Giving it my all? We have a winner! First person to reach the top. Amazing effort! You single-handedly led your team to victory! Why, thank you. Like I said, we had this one in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lazy Bones, get off the floor. Someone got stuck with a dead weight, didn't they? I know, but don't worry. Eric will whip Todd into shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Wayside Games! We are here on the 28th floor with another exciting Wayside Game. Yes, it's called Pass the Ball, Catch the Ball, and then Get It in the Basket. How exotic and truly a team event. Totally. And since Myron's team won the first round, he starts it. Myron's team? This one's also in the bag. Just pass me the ball so I can sink the basket, Myron. At least we don't have to run up those stairs again. Ready? <laughs> Look, Mauricia, I'm a seal! I'm a seal! <laughs> Myron, you're not a seal! Pass the ball already! I am Myron, what are you doing? Just let me take the shot. Let 
me help you with that, partner. Thanks, Lewis. I'm here courtside with the champ. Any comments? Like I said, it's in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Wayside Games! Team Cow Vaulting is always one of the most challenging Wayside Games. Let's watch. Come on, Eric, just follow my lead. Huh? Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, that looked like that cow bolt of the day. It'll be hard for Team Myron to beat that. Here, hold this. I have to fix my skate. Huh? <laughs> Myron, what are you doing? It tickles! Myron! Ah! Whoa! Looks like Myron pulls his team to victory again. What a truly amazing athlete. Where would Mauricia be without him? It's in the bag. Wayside Games! It's time for our last contest, synchronized swimming. Myron's team got off to a good lead, but Todd and Eric had a strong comeback by winning the peanut hurdle and the super pickle relay. That means Myron's team has to win the next event in order to take the trophy. Good luck, Myron and Myron's partner. That's Myron and Mauricia! Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Totally. <laughs> An interesting stylistic choice on the part of Team Eric and Todd, wouldn't you say, Lewis? Yes, I would, dude. I mean, Mrs. J, but it seems to be working. Yeah! <laughs> An almost perfect score! That's going to be tough for Myron and Myron's teammate to beat. He's my partner. Ah. Uh. It's in the bag. Myron, would you stop it? Nothing's in the bag. This is my weakest event. And you haven't done anything this whole time except take credit. Come on, I can't take credit for taking all the credit. You helped too. You're right, I did help. I won every event for us and somehow made you look like a star. Exactly, and that's what teamwork's all about. No, not this time. All I ever wanted out of this was to win a trophy. Now I'm gonna win that trophy and show everybody who the real star is. Ah, leg cramp! <gasps> Can't move! I should have expected this having to carry Myron everywhere. Ah! Hmm, some really bad form. Lousy technique as well. Ah! <gasps> Keep your legs straight and don't move. I'll take care of the rest. Wow. Incredible performance! Although I have to say that other kid on his team did help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! How? How did you learn to do that? I told you, I'm a seal. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? I can't take credit for everything, you know. Yeah! That was so, so beautiful. <laughs> oh, just take the trophy. <gasps> Huh? I'll just put this one where it truly belongs. In the bag. Mauricia's bag, that is. 
For real? Hey, you said all you ever wanted was a trophy, right? Here's to teamwork. Thanks, partner. Anytime, partner. Yay! Lisa Gates! I was on the fifth level. Ow! Oh, Todd. Hey, I bet you can't jump over Todd and all those garbage cans. Real thanks to me! <laughs> nice jump! Ditto, Sister Mo! This has got to stop. Todd rocks! Tell me about it! Todd is totally the bomb. Todd's the greatest. I just totally can't believe it. He's the perfect size and height. And when he makes that face, it just completely makes my day. Woohoo! Oh no, they both like me? Myron, you've got to help me. One moment, Todd. Please be patient. And how may I be of assistance to you, Todd? You know how Mauricia always punches me because she, um, likes me? She does? Yes, and it hurts. Now Jenny is jumping her bike over me, trying to hurt me, too. And? She must like me, too. Did you say Jenny likes you? Well, she did mention I was the perfect size and height. And I make her day. Wow, does Mauricia know? Um, I don't think so. I've got to find out! <laughs> Ooh, Todd's got a new girlfriend. Pass it on. <laughs> no! No one must know about this. Hey! Come back here, you! Okay, this one's called a triple Todd. A triple Todd? But they've only jumped over me twice. <gasps> Woohoo! That was the best stunt yet. I'm gonna scout a new place to jump. <laughs> Jenny? Uh, hi. I heard what you said before. And what you did... You, my friend, are the ultimate challenge. Um, yeah, I was afraid of that. Look, I want to stop this before it gets out of control. I'm already sort of involved with Mauricia. Emphasis on sort of. 
<laughs> so I'm flattered that you like me so much and feel the need to show me. But I don't think it's going to work out. Sorry. Myron, Myron, Myron! One moment, Todd. Please be patient. And how may I be of assistance to you, Todd? What does it mean when a girl laughs hysterically at you behind your back? Oh, that means they like you. I should know. It happens to me all the time. Watch. Hey, Leslie, nice day, huh? <laughs> Todd, I just heard Jenny and you were planning to run off together someplace really far away and romantic, like maybe Antarctica? What? Where'd you hear that? Oh, I don't know how these rumors get started. Whoa. Ooh, Todd! I just heard Jenny and you were planning to run off together someplace really far away and romantic, like maybe... Wait, let me guess. Antarctica. Yeah! Uh, I've got to work this out with Mauricia. I don't want her hearing any of these wild rumors. She'll listen to me. I just got to work my charm. <gasps> Mauricia, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, I mean, hello. Funny bumping into you here. So, what's new? Mauricia, we need to talk. Can we go somewhere? Yes, go right here. Great, I'm glad we could no, work. No, stand here. The angle is better, but I've got a better view this way. It's better for me over here. Ladies, ladies. You've got to stop fighting over me. I know how you guys feel about me. And to be honest, I'm kind of flattered. Great! Then light up the ring and let's hop this puppy. No! Wheels Extreme! This is ridiculous. I know what you mean. I liked your hair when you used to comb it instead of parting it with a tire. Good news, Todd. Rumor is that Jenny and Mauricia are doing one final jump to determine who'll be your girlfriend. Winner takes all. But I don't want to go out with either of them. And I want them to stop jumping over me. Oh, this time, they're not jumping over you. Seems they found someone even better to jump over. This year, I'm going to do it. I'm going to perform a triple sow cow twist and go down in wayside history. <laughs> I'll never do it. <laughs> Clearing Principal Kitswater's secret ice rink is so much more of a challenge. No kidding, sister. You can't live on the edge while jumping over a Todd. Word. I can't let either of them win. I don't want a girlfriend. Don't worry, Todd. I consider myself an expert in matters of the heart. Nice day, huh, ladies? <laughs> See? So what do you suggest, ladies man? Well, Todd, there's one person you wouldn't mind having as your girlfriend. Who? What a turnout to witness their principal break his own personal record of a triple sow cow twist. Are you ready, Sister Mo? I was born ready. Hello, ladies. Todd, what are you doing here? There's no rule saying that I couldn't enter the jump. Right like the wind, Todd! Whoa! <laughs> la -dee -dee, la -dee -da, la -dee -dee. Mr. Kidswater was our jump. You put the bum in bummer, man. You won! You won! Won what? I won the jump that was going to determine who was going to be my girlfriend. You're your own girlfriend!
girlfriend, Todd! I figured it was the only way to get through to you about our, you know, relationship. What relationship? Oh, man. Here he goes again. You, my friend, need help. Relationship? This is crazy, Todd. I mean, I like you, but in a punch you in the shoulder kind of way, not a jump over the ice in a little red wagon kind of way. What? We need to take things a little slower, Todd, okay? Thanks. So, that went well. Are you serious? I feel like I've just been dumped by two girls I didn't want to go out with in the first place. Myron? Hey, Jenny, nice day, huh? Hey now! That was the best triple sow cow I've ever done! So, 344, the rumors are true. You are the best figure skating coach in all of Antarctica. That's exactly how you're going to make the movie. Thank you. Why, thank you, Principal Kitswater. What a wonderful presentation. Wow! Principal Kitswater, this film class was a great idea. Thank you, Martha. It's Myron. Of course it is, Melon. So what kind of movie are we making? Ooh, could we put monsters in it? Yes. And action-packed stunts? Yes! Yeah. And compelling emotional arcs? Yes! Yay! And all that and more. But most importantly, it's called... Kid Swatter the Movie? We're making a film about our principal. This is just so weird. You mean so great! Hey, what's the most important job on a film? I don't know. Director? Dibs on director! Okay, but I want to be the producer. They need all the rules. So, my first rule is, Mauricia, you're the stunt coordinator. Wicked! I can finally try that triple backflip. I'll do special effects. <laughs> and who will be my star? I need someone cool. I can do cool. So what do you think? You, my friend? are gonna be a star. It's water charges into scene atop his magical unicorn with a horde of Vikings in hot pursuit. No, wait, ninjas. No, 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 ninja Vikings in hot pursuit. I'm almost done. 
You can't rush creativity! Principal Kid Swatter? Hmm? <gasps> your, your, your... You! I'll be playing you, Mr. Kid Swatter. I'm going to be studying your every move. I hear that's how actors prepare for a part. Of course you will, my young protege. But I warn you. I am an extremely sophisticated and complex character. Oh, popcorn! Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to be more Kid Swatter than even Kid Swatter. <laughs> popcorn! this. Something's missing. I need drama. I need pathos. I need this. Myron, you want us to build this? We can't build this. Gimme, 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 gimme. What is my true essence, you ask? The riddle inside the mystery stuffed into the corduroy blazer. That is me. Um, no. Actually, I just wanted to know what your favorite color is. Power! That's why I do this job. Being principal is like being the most powerful man in school. Is it power blue, red, or beige? But sometimes these strange little people, they're out to get you. Just look at them over there. You mean those light stands? All them what you want, 344. But they'll never take me alive! <laughs> what about eggshell white? Do you like that color? Now that's more like the wayside I know! Special effects! Did we figure out how to do that big windstorm yet? Perfect! We've got volcanoes, Viking ninjas, and aliens! Stretching the truth just a bit here? There's no fussing over facts in the Dream Factory, Dana. That last school set looked too much like a school. This, on the other hand, looks like a movie. Places, please! Roll cameras! Uh... Action! Cue the gladiators! <laughs> Bring in the recess dragon! The what? Uh, ah, ah, ah. Todd, you're on! I am Kid Swatter. I am Kid Swatter. Powerful, paranoid, out of control. I am he, Kid Swatter! You're gonna do great, 344, South Fairview. Ooh. I, I mean, Kid Swatter. Break a leg, just not my leg. <laughs> Action! Attention, students, attention! This is your principal. Behold my laser shooting microphone. Cut! Special effects! What happened to the special effects? You call that a laser mic? I'm not Mike. I'm Steven. Whatever. Will one of you whatchamacallits help me here? Lewis! Lewis! Oh, where's Lewis? Yes, Mr. K? Uh, I mean, Todd? I mean, Mr. K? I mean, whoa. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I got a bit carried away with my character. It's hard to shut it off sometimes. Tell me about it. <laughs> Who said that? Are you talking behind my back again? In front of my back? Whose back is this anyway? <laughs> Stupid Guzak! <laughs> What's that all about? Todd must be a method actor! He gets so deeply into his role that he actually believes he is that character. But then why'd he hit the door like that? This is just so weird. Ugh, I don't know how these actors do it. One minute I'm Todd and the next minute... <coughs> You're all out to bring me down! 
<laughs> wow! That's so believable, Todd! Who? You've totally nailed Mr. K's character. Bossy and brash, perplexed and paranoid, and a little bit nuts. <laughs> but we might need you to tone it down a bit when we're on set. What? You can't tell me what to do! I am the most powerful man in school! I am Principal Kid Swatter! And you'll never take me alive! <laughs> okay, not bad. But according to the script, your line is homework, schmomework. Oh, I see. First you fix my lines, then you fix me. Well, how's this for a line? You're fired! What? But she's the producer! You're fired too! And you! And you! And even you! Todd, what are you doing? Getting to them before they get to me, Martha. It's Byron. Okay, Morty. You're both fired! <laughs> Mr. K! I mean, Todd! I mean, oh, it's all too much. Now, hurry, people! Time is money! Let's shoot this thing already! Oh. <laughs> hey, where's everyone going? Papaya pink. Huh? Papaya pink. It's my favorite color. Oh, I uh, didn't know that. See? You know nothing about me. Or anyone else in this school, for that matter. What? What have I become? All I wanted to do was play Mr. Kidswater right. But my success has become my failure. Nice! I think we can use some of that. Can you try that speech again? This time with feeling. Attention, students, attention. I've come to save our school. Let that be a lesson to you. We're not just students here at Wayside. We're best friends. Family! I forgot that once, and I'm sorry. But now it's all as clear to me as papaya pink. So what you think, Mr. Kidswater? I think... It's one of the best films I've ever seen! Well, except for that part with the lame kid making the speech. Who is that supposed to be again? The spirit of Wayside, Mr. K. I was supposed to be you, but even more you than you've ever been. Yeah, right. Let's lose all the talky stuff and just finish with that big laser battle. Pew, pew. By the way, love the camera work. Ah! Stupid gravity. Monitors here. <laughs> Looking good, my man. Oh no! Unsafe alert! Danger! My shoelace is untied. Mushroom surprise coming! <laughs> A safety monitor's work is never done. Hello, Eric, Eric, and Eric. Help! Not now. Can't you see I'm busy keeping the school safe? 
think Myron is probably the most unsafe safety monitor in the world. No kidding. At recess, I saw him wax the stairs just so he could stare at his own reflection. At least no one has slipped in it. I was on the 20th floor just a second ago. Principal Kidswater, you need to do something about school safety. No can do, children. I'm in the middle of teaching myself how to be a lion tamer. Talk to Mrs. Jules. That's strange. I was on the 30th floor just a second ago. It's Myron. He waxed the stairs. We need to fire him from his job as safety monitor. I wish I could, but no one ever appointed him. He just showed up one day wearing that spiffy uniform. Well, then, if the position's vacant, I volunteer to fill it. You, Mauricia? Yeah, sure. Sounds like fun. Um, okay. What seems to be the trouble, Mauricia? It's Mo. Officer Mo. Walking a little fast, weren't ya? I don't know. Was I? Watch it, young man. I've seen folks hoping half your speed. They trip, fall, knees scraped, lives ruined. Not a pretty sight. I'm writing you up a ticket, cutie pie. It's for your own safety. One Mango 12, one Mango 12, we have a 1080 in progress, please respond. Mango 12 responding, copy that, send unit. Roger, I'm in pursuit. Can I see that ticket for a sec? It's from Marisi, er, uh, Officer Mo. Ha! I'm the only safety monitor around here, Todd, and I say you can walk as fast or as slow as you want from now on. Or better yet, dance! Dance like you're the only person in the whole entire world! Freeze! Step off the swing, Jenny. Oh, wow. Nice get up, Sister Mo. It's Officer Mo, and I clock you exceeding the swing limit. That sounds fast. Hall pass and school registration, please. Um, I think I left them in my other pants, man. Likely story. Afraid I'm gonna have to take uh, you downtown. Downtown? But we're not allowed to leave school property. You punks are always trying to get off on a technicality. But I'm writing you up anyway. Oh, wow. I don't think you're finished having fun. But the safety monitor said... I'm the only safety monitor here, and I said, have fun. I said, have fun. Oh, wow! How to train a lion. Step one, get a lion. Okay, did that. Step two, use whip to scare lion. Hmm, this lion taming stuff's a lot trickier than I expected. Drop the pumpkin! Nice and slow. And no funny business. Like this? <laughs> yeah, like that! <laughs> Okay, that's it, I warned you. Wipe that smile off your face. I got it! I got it! Your football is too pointy! Busted, busted, and busted! Yeah! Well, well, looks like we've got a chewer here. Any other gum offenders? 
Come on, everyone. Yaps open. Stick out your liquors. Mouth inspection. Hmm. Ahoy! Ow. As Wayside's only safety monitor, I proclaim gum is safe and fun. What? Chew, friends. Chew like beavers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> put the gum down. Now blow, friends. Blow like the summer wind. Stop! This is very unsafe! That was the funniest thing that I've ever seen. What the? All the tickets I handed out? Myron, you're under arrest for impersonating a safety monitor. No, you're under arrest for impersonating me. Plus, my uniform is way better than yours. Behold the sash and badge. Are you having fun yet? Step 54. Never run away from a lion. It will think you're a gazelle and eat you. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, look, I'm a gazelle. La, 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 hee <laughs> Oh, look, I'm a gazelle. You can't catch me. I'm leaping. I'm jumping. <laughs> like a rabbit. Now I'm a little funny rabbit. Oh, yeah? Why don't we let the students decide who the best safety monitor is? Those who think it's her, cheer. Those who think it's me, cheer louder. Begin. Oh, no. Now I'm an old turtle. Better hurry up. Here comes the lion. Myron, I have to say you are one of the most unsafe safety officers ever. Exactly. And you, Mauricia, are one of the most unfun safety monitors ever. What? My thoughts exactly. Which is why we should all just work together. Huh? No, that's not what I was going to say. Look, Mauricia can enforce the rules. And Myron can make everyone feel good about it. Ah! Out of the way. Safety emergency. My safety emergency. Help! <laughs> Myron's floor wax! Lead him over here, Myron! I have a plan! Great idea! He can eat you first! And now, I'm a widow kitty cat! You wouldn't hurt me, would you? Hmm, I could swear there was a lion in here. There you are. Step two. Oh, Harold, I'm absolutely at wit's end with these rank amateurs. Be a good chap and bring the limo around. I'll wait your arrival out front. Don't take it to heart, my good man. It's not for everyone. Amateur? <laughs> Nice job, Myron. If you hadn't run in terror, I never could have bravely trapped him in the locker. You're right. You know, we actually do work well together. So, what do you say? That's great, guys, but can you get us down now? <laughs> Let's do this thing. Sorry, guys. No running in the halls permitted. Aww. But no one said anything about no dancing in the halls.
so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I wanna get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. more than celebrating Halloween every day. He's celebrating Wayside every day. Yay! Yay! Right on! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Oi, oi, oi. Now that's what I call school spirit. I know. Steven should lead us in the school spirit parade float contest. He has my vote. We'll be a shoe in to win with his spirit. Ooh, school spirit. Ooh. I loved being the float leader last year. It was so great, I never wanted it to end. Byron, 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 Byron. Byron. Myron! Myron! Huh? There was no parade last year. Oh, so that's why I didn't win. <laughs> so, school district supervisor, you got the gift basket I sent, the flowers, the chocolate, the cash. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not trying to buy your vote for the contest. I'm actually trying to buy his vote for the contest. It's just a friendly welcome gift I send to all the new judges. Bye-bye. Ha! I'll play him like a two-bit accordion. A one, two, three. Boo! Oh, a one, yes. two. Yes, Mr. K? They're back. Who's back, Mr. K? A one, two, three. Boo! A one, two, three. Boo! The leprechauns! <laughs> Oh, a pot of gold. I can quit my job as principal and never work again. Ow! My nose. Oh, my fan. Ow! My nose. My fan. My nose. My fan. My nose. My fan. My nose. Leprechauns. Oh, that's just Steven in his Halloween costume, which he wears every day. Go Wayside! He's not a leprechaun. No, he's supposed to be an elf. The kids chose him to lead this year's parade float. What? They can't do that. My new supervisor's judging the contest, and I need to make a good impression. Understand? Must make good impression. Oh, dude. I think we could use more ghosts and rubber spiders. And more ooky, spooky, scary things. Right, Mr. Pumpkin? Steven, you put the way in Wayside. Delivery for the leprechaun. You mean the elf? Yes! <laughs> I mean the elf. Ooh, that's me! Maybe someone sent me a happy Halloween card. Steven? Is everything okay? No. Uh -huh. Dear little green thing, 
You're not actually going to lead the parade dressed like that. Do you want everyone to laugh at you and embarrass your principal? Sign, the whatchamacallits. Is that supposed to mean the students? <gasps> the students sign this? All of them? But what's wrong with how I look? <laughs> Nothing as far as I can tell. Sounds like some dumb prank. And I have a pretty good idea who's behind it. Ignore it, Steven. But what if it isn't some dumb prank? I mean, I'll be representing the whole school now. That's right. You're so lucky. We're all going to be watching your every move. Isn't it great? We're going to win the contest. We're going to win the contest. What if these whatchamacallits are right? This is too important to mess up. I can't embarrass Wayside. I'll become someone they can all be proud of. Someone no one laughs at. Someone called... Mr. Normal. <laughs> Goodbye, ooky, spooky, scary stuff. So long, rubber spiders. Goodbye, giggling ghosts. Catch you later, creepy hand. <laughs> From now on, I'm only celebrating Halloween on Halloween, just like normal kids. You can't get more normal than this. Right, Mr. Pumpkin? You're the man in every man, Mr. Normal. Oh, Steven, you look different. You have accident. No, just swimming in the mainstream now, beating my way down the beaten path to the middle of the road. Aha! Here, I make special creepy crawly cookie for you. It come with live spider. Sorry, none for me. If it's not a very square slice of white bread, I want no part of it. Right, Mr. Pumpkin? Uh, you sure about this man? Hmm, that's a little bit much, no? <gasps> Steven? Is that you? Yes. And I think this float needs to be just a little more ordinary. Think so-so. What happened to you? Where are your ears? And your clothes. And your Steven-ness. All here, just in a plain white wrapper. You see, I've learned that vanilla is truly the spice of life. Chocolate is, too. And strawberry. Ooh, and pistachio. You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. People laugh at jokes. I'm no joke. I'm normal. And happy, too. No one's laughing at me. Right, Mr. Pumpkin? Well, he hasn't been himself lately. You know, normal doesn't really work for Steven. Or for the contest. He looks miserable. I wish we could help him. Maybe we can. Did you see how he spoke to his pumpkin? Yeah, I bet there's a little bit of Steven left in Mr. Normal. We just have to bring it out, and I have the perfect idea. You want me to do what? It's the only way we can save Steven, and our float, too. Oh, this isn't about that leprechaun fellow. You know I have a problem with them. Oh, a second pot of gold. What luck to find it out here in the desert. Ow! My nose. Oh, my fan. My nose. My fan. My nose. My fan. My nose. My fan. My nose. Ah. Steven's not a leprechaun. He's an elf. And he was proud of it. Until someone made him feel bad about how he looks. Oh, that note wasn't from me. It was from the whatchamacallits. Who said anything about a note? Is there something you're not telling us, Mr. Kidswater? <laughs> what a perfectly average day for a run-of-the-mill school spirit contest. <gasps> what are you doing? Your ears! People will laugh at you! At me! At us! No, they won't. Mr. Kidswater! You have spooky, ooky ears, too? Keep them on, 
before I tell the new supervisor you sent Stephen that note. <clears throat> yes, Stephen. Don't worry about people laughing. No one represents Wayside better than you. Really. Be true to your elf, Stephen. <laughs> Enough with the Mr. Normal! I bet Mr. Pumpkin thinks it's a good idea. Go knock him dead, scary Steve. Okay, I will! Go away, Dad! That means the new school supervisor likes me. I, I mean us. He's the float judge. I just wish I knew what he looked like. Yeah! A third pot of gold? How could this be? Oh, hello, Mr. Kidswater. Nice to finally meet you. You won't stop me this time. I'm taking what's mine, you tricky little leprechaun. I'm no leprechaun. I'm the school district supervisor. Your boss. Mm-hmm. And this is the prize money for the float. It's not for you. It goes to the people with the real school spirit, the students of Wayside. Ow! My nose. Oh, my pants. Hey, is that a two-bit accordion? I love playing those. Good news, Mr. K. I fixed this door so you'll never walk into it again. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. When have I ever walked into a door? Gotta go, gotta go! Ah. Ah. I have to! I... Oh, that. No worries, I've propped it open. That's using the old melon, Lewis. Ow! Stupid Guzak frame thing! <laughs> Dude! Maybe the door frame's not wide enough. Want me to fix that too? No, Lewis. I've got a better idea. <laughs> hey, what's all the yelling about? Kidswater just announced he's moving the school permanently. No way. Where's it going? No one knows. And that's why we're all going to protest. Mr. K can't do that to the students of this school. He's my hero, Mr. Kidswater, uh, and I know that I am perfect. That's why, why I'm resigning, resigning as class president, president in protest, protest of, of this move. move. Um, Myron, you were never actually elected class president. Hmm. As I was saying, and I know that I am perfect as your class president. I'm protesting by wearing only one ear. Care to join me? One ear, one ear, one ear. I'm protesting by unalphabetizing my rule books. Ouch. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> I'm protesting by blocking all bike traffic in the halls. Take that, school. Jenny, you're the only one who actually rides in the hallways. <laughs> Well, you and that kid. Heck, no, we won't go! Heck, no, we won't go! Everybody now! Heck, no, we won't go! Heck, no, we won't go! Heck, no! Stop! Enough already! Now, I don't want the school moved either, but if we really want to protest, we have to work together. Yeah! Everyone protest! Heck, no, we won't go! Let's try something simpler, like a boycott. When people are upset about something, they protest by staying away from it. Then we should... 
boycott class? Yeah! Let's boycott class! Yeah! Okay, everyone, everyone let's, let's meet, meet in class, class for the, the boycott of class! Yeah! Wait! You can't go to class if you're boycotting class. <sighs> hmm, let's see here. Move, move, moving. What do you want? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know you tipped me off about the students protesting. So what? One banana's not enough? <laughs> Fine. Take it. <laughs> I need to get a closer look at this protesting riffraff. <gasps> and I've got just the thing. <laughs> <laughs> To protest the school moving, we should not only boycott class, but refuse to do any more homework, too. Yeah! I like that. Now you don't have to write a 500-word essay tonight. I have an even better idea. Instead of that 500-word essay, why don't we write a 5,000-word letter, protesting why we're not writing our essay? Yeah! Hello. I hate to bring this up, but I think there might be a little problem with these protests. Moo Moo, cow coming through. To protest the school move, you tried boycotting class, but then you went to class. Then you tried refusing an assignment, but you ended up doing more schoolwork than ever. Yes, fight the power. No, fight the protests. These actions are about as effective as eating during a hunger strike. That sounds like a great idea. Thanks, Todd. Two and round. Yeah! <laughs> come on, come on. Hi, Mr. Kidswater. Hey, Mr. Kidswater. Hey, I'm just a cow. I'm not spying on you. What am I going to do about them? Spending more time in class, doing more homework, eating more cafeteria food. It's almost like they're becoming better whatchamacallits. Students? Yes, them! <sighs> uh, it's worse than I ever imagined. If smart little people don't need a principal, then they don't need me. Hmm. I need to infiltrate these extremists, change their crazy ideas about studying and learning. Get back to our core values. The values of moving the school. Yo! Stupid Guzak. Um, can someone give me a push? Ow! More, please. You want second helping? Uh-huh. Ah! That never happened before! <laughs> People! In a hunger strike, you protest by not eating. But what do we do if we get hungry during the hunger strike? Dandy of a question, my good man. Mr. Kidswater? Who? Sorry. Never heard of that wonderful man. I'm just a typical, um, whatchamacallit, like you. A student? Yes, one of them chappy. So, who needs some awfully swell acts of civil disobedience to make your principal do the right thing? Civil disobedience? what We just want to keep the school here. And Todd's given us all these great ideas about boycotts and strikes. Ha! That's nothing. In my day, which, um, is the same as your day, we didn't bother with boycotts. We just took over. Yes, I like the sound of that. Yeah, Todd. Why didn't you think of that? Because it could go even more horribly wrong than all of this? Ha! Don't listen to him. He's one of them. Them? No! Say it ain't so! Who's them? The ones that don't want us to do the right thing. <gasps> no wonder he made us stay in class and do all that extra homework. Uh, but no, I... Come on, everyone, follow me instead. We'll take this place over right. Yeah! Hmm. Time to take this protest into my own hands. Don't move the school! Don't move the school! 
school! Don't move the school! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you just missed it. Mr. K was wearing this funny outfit, and he had the students storm his own office and take it over. No way. What next? Hey, hey, what do you say? Move the school right away! Oh, no. He's completely turned everyone around. Dana, what happened? We took over the school! Yeah, Todd, and we have to run this place now, so we're kind of like principals. And principals always do the right thing for their school. Move the school! How did this happen? Do you guys realize that your protest has failed in every possible way? <laughs> oh, don't listen to this misguided hooligan. He's trying to muddle and confuse you. Fine. If you can't get this protest straight, then it's up to me. Don't move the school! Don't move the school! But, Todd, we're just doing what you said. One simple, coordinated protest. Yeah, we have to work together. Your words, not mine. Don't move the school! Don't move the school! Don't move the school! <sighs> Say, which Don't one of you school-running little people Don't wants to help me pack for the big move? Don't move the school! Don't move the school! Don't move the school! Don't move the school. Don't move. <sighs> hmm. I guess they decided not to move the school. Ouch! Whoa! You okay? Yeah, I think so. Be careful, Dodster. The school has been moved two feet to the left, so you'll need to adjust your route. Huh? I thought they were gonna move it across town. It was all Kid Swatter's idea, so he wouldn't walk into the front door frame. I mean, the front Guzak frame. I have two ice creams. <gasps> Whoa! Ah! Stupid inside office, Guzak! <laughs> of course, the move didn't affect the inside doors. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least everything's back to normal again. <laughs> sort of. Science homework. 
Now please take your seats and... Attention, students, attention. I've just had a brilliant idea. I just forgot that brilliant idea, so I'll come up with another brilliant idea. Okay, wait for it. Here it comes. I've got it! In order to be more efficient, all after-school activities will now take place during school hours. And all actual school will take place after school as part of an extracurricular program. Booyah! Well, class, I guess I'll see you after school for school. Now go enjoy your after school activities. Hooray! Wow, I've never really been around after school. I always get sent home early on the kindergarten bus. I should form a club. Awesome! Brilliant! Yeah! I'll form a Halloween club. We'll do extreme pumpkin makeover. <laughs> <laughs> My club's gonna be better than that. <laughs> I've always wanted to have a balloon animal trainer's club. <laughs> Bad balloon animal. Bad! Ha! <laughs> That's nothing. My club's gonna be the best. Anyone for an upside down stilt walking club? Interesting, but not the best. I'm making the Speed Extreme Club. We'll do all kinds of other club stuff, but real fast. Chess Club. Book Club. Drama Club. Romeo, Romeo, Juliet, Juliet, we're in love. Now we're dead. Debate Club. I'm right, you're wrong. And Club Club. It may be fast, but it's not the best, like my club. Hey, Myron. How's your club going? It's the best. Cool. Well, uh, you know, there's still room in my science club if you want to join. Yeah, right. Science club. Ooh, look at me. I'm in the science club. I have no idea what my club is about. It's about science. And I have no idea what I'll be doing in my club. We're going to be doing science. Ooh. How will I get people to join my club when I don't have a club? I have a club. It's a science club. We'll be doing science in the club. Ha! Science club. Todd! You have science club? Miss must know many scientist peoples in Mama Land. Really? Back in the Mama Land, they need highly qualified people for rocket experiments. It either me or Boris. But he win coin toss. Wow. Miss Mush, would you like to be the faculty advisor for my science club? Ooh, I love to. We can use old rocket parts I keep in freezer. <gasps> Did you say rocket parts? Miss Mush, is the rocket ready to test yet? Try it now, comrade! Uh... Shut it down! Shut it down! Hmm, need more thrust for takeoff. But not bad for my cabbage balls. Todd's science club built a rocket! He can travel into outer space! Yeah. Yeah. Science is hot! Rockets are cool! Yeah. Big deal! It's not like he's got the best club in school. Todd's club is the best club in school! Huh? Yeah. 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 You coming, Myron? Oh, no! Um, I have my own best club. Really? What do you guys do? <sighs> you did form a club, didn't you? Of course I did. It's a, um, believe it or not, it's a science club, too. Aren't they the best? A science club? Just like Todd? Oh, heavens, no. Much better than Todd's. You hear that, Todd? My science club is the best. My science club is the best. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining my club. 
But do any of you actually know anything about rockets? I can make balloon animals. Maybe I can help with these hoses. And I can use my stilts to get to all those hard to reach places. And I can build everything else really fast. And I've got a new pumpkin. It'll make a great space helmet. Thanks to all of you, I'll be exploring the stars in no time. Yeah! This is so not fair. What does Todd have that I don't have? Well, besides the rocket and the support of everyone in school. Aha! A faculty advisor! Gotta get me one of those. Three, two, one, go, go, go! <laughs> Mr. Kickswater? <laughs> what do you want, Millie? I need you to advise my new best science club. Let you see I'm busy. Sorry, but you're the closest I can find to a science doing guy. Hmm. Well, you know, I do have some experience in space travel. Whee! Again, again! <laughs> Oh, Mr. K, your rocket skills will make my best science club even bester. They will? I mean, yes, of course they will. <laughs> I push blast off button, yes? Sammy, he do countdown. Hmm. Um, maybe we should try someone else. Oh, Todd. Farewell, my Earthbound friends. All systems go. Start the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, twenty-five. 103. Hold it! Stop the countdowns! <whistles> Myron, what are you doing? Launching my best club's better rocket. What are you doing? You have a rocket? Look, Myron, if you really want to be in our science club, it's okay. You can help us launch. You don't have to make up some story about your own rocket. What? Why would I ever do that? Best Science Club member, this is Best Science Club founder. Bring out better best rocket ever, over. Better best rocket ready to launch, sir. At ease, cadet. See? It is better. Take that, Todd. Who's got the Best Science Club now? Whoa. Nice rocket. I need to look out my office window a little more often. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. See? I told you my club was the best in school. Now step back. Three, two, one, go, go, go! <gasps> What's that strange rumbling? Whoops. My rocket. What were you thinking? Why couldn't we just work together? Um, because I wanted my science club to be better than your science club, and it couldn't be better if it was the same club. Myron! Wait! In a way, you did work together. We all did. That's what made Todd's club the best. Todd built the rocket, we helped, Sammy helped too! And Myron launched it. You're right. Maybe Todd's science club was the best club all along. My club was the best. Myron, would you like to be in the science club? Sure. Thanks, pal. Um, where's Mr. Kitswater? Oh, he went inside the rocket. <gasps> Don't worry. He back soon. I only put in half a tank of gas. Prince 
Principal Kit Swatter, Voyager of the Stars, hereby declare this planet Wayside Planet. Arr, stupid school planet. You'll be my reindeer whether you like it or not. Ho, ho. <coughs> Stupid reindeer. Come back here. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Todd. <sighs> okay, class, time for everyone to open their secret Santa gifts. Yeah! Awesome. And here's your gift, Todd. Wow, Mauricia. Thanks. Has everyone received their secret Santa gift? Bebe, where's yours? Ooh, I got two gifts. I got a crown and a cheering box. Look, I'm king of the presidents. Class, remember last week we pulled names out of a hat to choose our secret Santas? Who picked Bebe's name? Oh, that reminds me. Bebe, does this belong to you? Your name's on it. Been sitting in my pocket for like a week, but I have no idea how it got there. No! No! What? What did I do? You look kind of sad, Bebe. Of course she's sad, Nyren. You forgot to get her a secret Santa gift. What? No, see, someone gave me this crown as a gift, and I bought this cheering box for myself. But, uh, it's the thought that counts, right? What thought? You, you only, only bought, bought gifts for yourself! Where's your Halloween spirit? I mean, Christmas spirit. Oh, uh, you guys look upset. Maybe I should... Try to make things right? No! Hide! Yeah! <laughs> Ow! Don't worry, Bebe. You can have one of my calculators. <laughs> so, class, does anyone know the story of the Christmas Carol? Yes, Mrs. Jules. It's the story of a man named Scrooge who was so greedy, he couldn't understand the spirit of Christmas until three ghosts from Christmas past, present, and future visited him. Correct. So, who wants to try on a costume for our upcoming Christmas Carol play? Oh, I do, I do, I do. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Just gotta get this special reindeer nose on you. Whoa! Oh, I feel kind of funny when I look at this. What's with that? Maybe it'll be better if I just go back to class and pretend nothing happened. Whoa! Dizzy, everything's spinning. Oh no, I've gone back in time. What? These are just funny costumes. 
costumes. Yes! That's what people wore in the old days. Funny costumes. No, see, it's the Christmas Carol. <gasps> the Christmas Carol? I know that story. Then you must all be my ghosts of Christmas past. But you can't scare me like you did that Scrooge guy. We should just change back into our regular clothes. Ow! <clears throat> it's not my fault that I didn't do anything for anyone at any point this holiday. Ouch! A broccoli gingerbread man? Ow! 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 Ah, finished. Now I bring delicious broccoli yum yums to all the kitties at Wayside. Gingerbread, gingerbread, made of broccoli. Sugar, eggs, sweaty socks, baked for you by me. Happy Merry Day! Yum yums for everyone! Oh, happy Merry Day to you, garbage boy! Gingerbread, gingerbread, made of broccoli. <gasps> it can't be! You ghosts look all so real! Myron, we just put on our regular everyday clothes. Exactly, because you're ghosts of Christmas every day. You mean Christmas present. Yes! Now I can relive the present and open all my gifts again. It was so much fun last time. Who picked Bebe's name? Ooh, there's that weird feeling again. It's called guilt, Myron. Huh? It's when you feel bad for doing something wrong. Like only thinking of yourself during the holidays. Hmm, no, that's not it. Maybe I just need more Christmas spirit. You mean like loving and sharing and helping your friends? Oh, please, Dana. I'm talking real Christmas spirit. And I know just where to find it. Mr. Kidswater, can I borrow your Santa suit? <laughs> Sorry, still using it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But you can have my last holiday outfit. It's in the garbage can. Thanks, Mr. K. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Myron? Oh, Merry Thanksgiving and Happy April New Year's Day and... Hey, where'd everyone go? Recess, Mrs. Jules picked me to clean the chalk brushes. Wait a minute, you're the ghost of Christmas summer. By any chance, do you mean the ghost of Christmas future? Yes, only the real ghost of Christmas future would know that. It must be you. I could tell from the goggles. Ow! <sighs> Somehow I expected more in my future. Well, like I said, everyone's at recess and they've all given up on me! Of course! My future looks just like my present, only emptier! <laughs> this is all my fault! If only I had thought more of others! <laughs> Oh, why me? Poor Scrooge never had problems like this. Actually, this is exactly the kind of problem poor Scrooge had. If only I had shown my friends how much I cared for them. <laughs> but now, it's too late. I'm so... Oh, alone. Alone. Myron, are you okay? Dana? Mauricia, and everyone else? You're back, you're back! It was just recess. I'm saved, it's not too late to make things right. Are you the Easter Bunny? Oh, even better than that, my friend. See, there were all these ghosts, and you were there, and you, and you, and you, 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 and you. And you were there too. Yes, we were there, we saw you. Now I'm gonna throw you the best holiday party you've ever seen. Uh. Yeah! Yeah! Merry Christmas!
Christmas to one and all. And an especially special Christmas to you, baby. You deserve this more than me. And as for everyone else, I have one more special surprise. <gasps> ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! To one and all! Yay! Deck the halls with wayside displays. La 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 la. Tis the season to be sideways. La 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 la. Now we done a bunny costume. La 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 la. I love my friends in Mrs. Jules' classroom. La 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 la. understand how a dead rat can get sick. But Miss Mush makes soup to make you feel better. It ruined. There is only one thing that can save this horrible soup. The golden bowl of Mama Land. <laughs> I need favors, okay? Sure. What you need, Miss Mush? It's Sammy. He's sick. You take care of him? I have to save soup. No problem, Miss Mush. I'll take good care of him. <laughs> right, Sammy? Good. I must begin my quest. You've never spent the day in our class, have you? It's a nice place, but a bit disorganized. Wait, you don't look happy about that. I wish I could just fix it for you. I mean, I somehow put up with that chaos. But you, Sammy, you deserve better. That's right, Sammy. We deserve better. Come on. <laughs> Attention! Fall in line! We're bringing order to this class! Dana, 
it's great you want to organize us, but who put you in charge? Oh, this isn't my idea. It's Sammy's. He suggested it. He was Sammy's? Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, we were chatting on the stairs before. He's a very good listener. But look out when he speaks his mind. No kidding. He's a rat of few words. Make that no words. But if he said we should do this, let's go for it! Yeah! Thanks, Amy. I couldn't have done it without you. Whoa! Must reach the golden ball of Mama Land! Think you said? I should pursue my secret dream before it's too late? Uh, I didn't hear him say anything. Oh, Sammy, what a great idea! I've always secretly wanted to be a ballerina, but I was afraid people might laugh at me. <laughs> no kidding, Mauricia. That's too, too much. <laughs> Everyone, let's form a human ladder to reach our friend. Yay! Ah, the golden bowl of Mama Land. It must be close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Just right around the corner. <laughs> the next, next corner. <laughs> hmm, this looks familiar. I must be close. Mrs. Jules, I'm a little confused here. Sammy is dead. Yes, and what an inspiration he is to all of us. Look at Myron. He's actually leading students for a change. It's mighty Myron to the rescue. I can almost reach Sammy. Now, Dana. Attention! Yay! Great work, gang. Whoa! What's that, Sammy? You think I should stop dressing like an elf and instead dress like a super elf? Now with my new superpowers, I shall make everyone celebrate Halloween every day. <laughs> Sammy's not actually saying anything. Mm -hmm. You're all just putting words into his mouth. What are you talking about, Todd? Isn't it obvious? Everyone here is making Sammy say the things they can't or won't say themselves. I mean, don't you get it? Hey, Sammy says, get a grip. Can't someone here just act normal for once in their life? Gee, Todd, what's gotten into you? I, I'm not sure. Is it because of you, Sammy? Is it you, Sammy? Who motivates us all to speak that what is deep within us? A motivational speaker. Just think what I could do with one of those. I gotta get me one of those semi guys. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Hmm, looking good here. That motivational speaker's doing wonders with this class. Now, where's this semi guy? Aha! There he is, with that undeserving kid over there. Whoop. 
Sammy? I can't believe they fell for the old banana rat switcheroo. Works every time, right, Sammy? I'll take that as a yes. Say, you're quite the conversationalist, little fella. Let's go chat in my office. Todd, what'd you do to Sammy? You killed him! You never liked that dead rat. <laughs> no, I didn't do anything. One second he was here, the next... Attention, students, attention. You're all a bunch of snot-nosed brats. I've always wanted to say that, and I just did. Thanks to my new rat advisor, Sammy. He may be dead, but he's got some good advice. Says I need a nap, so good night. Oh no! He must have Sammy! I was supposed to watch Sammy for Miss Mush. She'll be back any second now! <gasps> The golden ball of Mama Land! I coming, Sammy! Miss Mosh makes soup to make you feel better! We've got to save Sammy! Yeah, it's the least we can do for that dead rat. Especially after all he's done for us. Target within reach. Sammy, I'll save you. Will you be quiet, Myron? That's an order. Okay, okay. It's just Sammy brings out my inner hero. Fine, but wait till I send in the diversion first. I have to tell you, I hate this part. Shh. That's one of my favorite ballets. Diversion working. Go, go, go! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh oh, three, the mush four, has five, landed. Six. I repeat, the mush one, has two, landed. Three, We've got to beat her upstairs. Five, Hurry! Six. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put me up! Put me up! Sammy, I just have the strangest dream. Sammy. Sammy! Oh, there you are. I have golden ball of mama land! And now I can make good soup for Sammy. Here he is, Miss Mush. Oh, Sammy. Oh, you are right for sore eyes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I miss you so much, Bushki. Thank you, boy on wire and girl who fish with him. Oh, this? It's just something Sammy inspired us to do. Yes, he do that. So, Sammy, is much happen while I not here? Oh, uh, he says... No, nothing much. Yeah, just a regular day at Wayside. I think Sammy had the best time ever. Hold on, Sammy wants to say something. <laughs> you right, Sammy. You always know perfect thing to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cut board. It good for thick and stew, no? Hmm. As for orange stick. Ah, Today's menu: mushroom surprise, bologna surprise with mushrooms instead of bologna, and octopus stew. Ew! Cool. A real octopus. Made from yours truly. Stewie. It your turn on cutting board. Oh no, she's gonna cook that poor Stewie. I mean, octopus. Come on! <laughs> Okie dokie, Stewie. Chop, chop. Let's do it. Huh? Where'd he go? Quick, Mauricia. We've gotta hide this octopus. What? But he's huge. 
Good point. We're gonna need help. And then he wrote on today's menu. And Miss Marsh was going to cook him. And his name is Dewey. And we need help. Help is what I do best. Great. We were hoping you could help us find Dana. No problemo. Dana? Dana? Wait, don't tell me. I see an A. Stewie! Hmm. I see that he's an octopus. I see you helping an octopus named Stewie. Whoa, how did you know all that? Oh, I heard you talking to Myron. <laughs> Enough of the fun. What have we here? Hmm. Not scary. Not scary. So, you're gonna help us? Hmm, give me a moment to work out a simple plan. <laughs> Let's see, I'll need a bit of math, a pinch of history, some geography, and ooh, my favorite, small engine repair. <laughs> Kids, please don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional. <laughs> Here's my plan. We just need to get Stewie back to the ocean which won't be hard if we dig a tunnel here, commandeer a helicopter here, and drop him at the beach here. Or we can just keep him as a pet. No, we are freeing Stewie. Hey, I have an idea. What if I learn to ride him and then take over the world? <laughs> What part of Free Stewie is unclear to you? Wait, don't tell me. I sense Stewie's presence is no longer with us. How do you know that? Well, you don't need ESP to figure this one out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I can't wait to sink my teeth into these delicious fish sticks. Mmm, <sighs> the aroma. Oh, wait, wait. I must cleanse my palate before I savor the delicate flavors of my fish sticks. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Buddy? Ah! A giant sea creature! Not again! Methinks I'll be eating me fisherman's platter now. Ha ha ha! Huh? Hey, all right. Pepper? Sure. Thanks, buddy. Arr! <laughs> oh, the deep fried shrimp I never got to eat! That seafood stole my seafood! Arr! You'll pay for that, sea beast. Come back here! Oh, stupid secret, Guzak! Stewie! 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 Come here, boy! He must be scared. That's why he's running away. Hold on. Those ventilation shafts lead all over the school. Stewie could be anywhere. I say we split up. Yes, let's! It'll be good for me to have some time alone with the all-powerful monster. I mean, um, Stewie! <sighs> Stewie! Stewie! Huh? Hey, there you are! <laughs> now, Stewie, come with me! You bet everyone worried sick! Cool! Oh, I see. You want to play. <laughs> yes! That was so cool! Give me eight. Let's do it again. But backwards! <gasps> Mauricia, what are you doing? We're supposed to be freeing Stewie, not playing with him. Hey, where'd he go? So, ready to help me rule the world? 
Ah, oh, come on. It'll be fun. We'll climb big buildings and stuff. Yeah, just like that. But with me on your back. <laughs> Aye, me hearties. There be the accursed creature that fills me fisherman's batter. Arrgh! Arrgh! Ah! Stewie, where are you? Stewie! Stewie! How many arms does an octopus have? Hmm. Yes, you in the back! Eight! That is correct! Yes! Finally, somebody raised the roof! We are free at last! Let's all dance till the break of dawn! Yay! Party people in the house? Arg! Time to pay, sea beast! Oh. The reign of Myron about to begin! I never knew taking over the world would take so long. Stewie! Stewie! Stewie. Where are you? Stewie! Hold on a second. Dana, Aricia, after that lump! <laughs> I plunge at thee, oh great squid. Uh oh. Uh. Ah! No. The great sea beast is finally mine! Where do you go, my friend? I look the up and down for you. Stop right there, Miss Mush. Captain Kidswatter's not plunging Stewie, and you're not putting him in your stew. Why I do that? I teach him to chop on chopping block. Really? He octopus. He not go in octopus stew. I already fill pot with wood chips. She's got a point, you know. I don't think Miss Mush ever used actual octopus in any of her octopus dishes. Step aside. That seafood stole me seafood, and now he be paying for it. That no seafood, that's Stewie. As in Stuart Balansky, exchange student from dental school in Mama Land. I don't care what he did. Mmm, ah, minty. Hmm, my mistake. You don't have any floss, do you? Great idea, Stewie. Instead of brute monster force, I'll take over the world with my smile. Sorry about the misunderstanding, Stewie. You're obviously not the great squid who stole my fisherman's platter. Oh, but I still really miss eating those deep fried fish sticks. Fish sticks? Blech. What you need is my deep fried fish bricks. Sounds interesting. I'll take one. Delicious. Good, huh? I make for Stewie trip home. Bye, 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 bye Stewie. Bye, 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 bye. Wait a minute, Miss Mush. You said Stewie was an exchange student. What student did we exchange him with? Sammy the dead rat. Of course! I send Sammy so he learn ancient art of the teeth. Mama Land style. Huh? Pickle?
Salad sandwich. Want a bite? No um. thanks. I'm just waiting for my lunch. Yo. Hey, Goon. Yeah, yeah, ooh. Hey, isn't that Dana's brother? Yeah, he's so dreamy. Like an open highway on a summer afternoon. <sighs> Hey, Rebel. Ooh. A plus, A plus, A plus. There, all done marking. It never ceases to amaze me how much homework stinks. Ah. Goon. Dangerous looking, but still sweet enough to bring in Dana's lunch when she forgot it. Goon! Yo, yo, yo! I'll get you next time, Goon! You hear me? Next, next time! time! <sighs> Mrs. Jules, what was that about? That kid is a fugitive! What? A homework fugitive! Never did his final assignment in my class. That makes him public school enemy number one. But Mrs. Jules, Goon graduated from Wayside years ago. Yes, and I've been after him ever since. Really? Are all the teachers at Wayside like this? <laughs> Thought you could skip the geography report back in 48. <laughs> Off to detention! But I need to go to the washroom. They can run, they can hide, but they can't escape their homework. We've got to help Goon finish that assignment. I'd love to help. How about you, Todd? Um, I don't know. I should check my schedule. Yep, checked it. I'd love to help. Great! Goon is such a rebel. A rebel, huh? Maybe if I was a rebel, I'd be more popular. Maybe even class president. Goon, you can't spend the rest of your life looking over your shoulder for Mrs. Jules. Right, yo. Listen, we just have to sneak up to the library and finish your report. Ready, everyone? Quietly now. Yo, yo, yo! Myron, turn that off! Turn that off! Sorry, Dana. I couldn't hear you over this awesome rebel music. Myron, what are you doing? You wouldn't understand. This is rebel stuff. Yo. Yo? Yeah, yo. See? Goon knows what I'm saying. Yo, yo, yo. Don't worry, Goon. He's here to help. I think. Yo, I've always got time for a fellow rebel. 
Right, Goon? <laughs> oh, I get it. That's how a bad boy says yes. What's going on here? Nothing, Principal Kitswater. Not Principal Kitswater. Today I'm Marshall Kitswater. Ooh, that sounds pretty tough. Yes, I know. Now you think my what's ain't seen no homework dodging desperate around these parts, have you? Cause me and Deputy Jules is looking for one ruthless bandito. A real tough guy. I said tough guy. Hold on, let me try something else. Yo, I'm from the mean streets. Give me five. On the side, on the roof. You were closer the first time around. Oh, really? Be right back. Just let this goo know. The marshals are coming for him. We've got to get to the library and help Goon finish his homework. Let's go. Hey! Hey! Where'd everyone go? Wait, Goon! You need to give me some pointers. What's it take to learn your rugged outlaw ways? Should I get a tattoo like you? What? Shh! Someone's coming. We've got to get you to the library. Wow, he even goes up the stairs cool. Wait for me, Goo. Ow, 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 ow. Goon, work here. Mauricia, track down references. Todd, footnotes and bibliography. And Myron? 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 So, Goon, what's your favorite rebel word? Whoa. Food. Dough. Body part. Toe. Color. Yellow. In order to be a true rebel, does everything you say have to end in O? No. Enough with the O! We're running out of time. Start writing, Goon. You go, Goon. I'll practice my bad boy move somewhere else, yo. I'm on his trail, deputy. You circle round, cut him off at the pass. Gotcha, Marshal. And when you say the pass, you mean the, um... Over there, by the water fountain. <gasps> the fugitive. It's ambush time. Yo, you looking for trouble, yo? Yeah, yo. I am talking to you, yo. How about you, yo? Huh, yo? Ow! Whoa, I frightened a garbage can? That takes serious skill. Yo! <laughs> yo, you want a piece of meat too, yo? No, no, not the face! I'll tell you anything you want to know! Anything? You wouldn't know where Goon is, would you? Almost done, Big Bro? The coast is still clear. Not a teacher in sight. Busted! Yo, this way! Uh, uh. Ow! Oh, sorry, Marshal. Dagnabbit! That varmint's escaping! You no know, finish my mushroom surprise, fugitive! Yo, sorry, they made me talk, yo. But don't worry, we can hit the road. Live life as fugitives. Yo, 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 yo! Whatever are you talking about, my good fellow? What? I I'm just trying to be tough like you. My deepest apologies, but I have no idea what you're saying. But you have a tattoo! That's no tattoo. It's just the stamp that gets me into my croquet club. Hey, you're not a big bad boy rebel at all. But what about that missing homework? A simple misunderstanding. I couldn't get it done because I was competing at the Extreme Croquet Championships. Nowhere to run now, goon! Time to pay the prize for your homework hooky.
But I finished my homework assignment. I just wanted to put one final special touch on it for my favorite teacher. Wait, is this Smelly Meadow my favorite perfume? Mmm, who knew homework could smell so good? Well, everything seems to be in order here. A plus. You're officially off my fugitive list, Goon. Yay! Lucky break. This time. Yowie! <laughs> off to detention. But I'm not a fugitive. I'm the marshal, I tell you. <laughs> I'm the marshal. We did it, Goon. You're not a fugitive anymore. Yes, thanks, yo. Wait. You said yo like a tough guy. Of course I said yo. It's short for Yodana. Right, Yodana? Right, Goon. Or should I say, Dinthar. Yodana? Yodana, Dana, whatever. <laughs> Poser, who does that guy think he is? Trying to convince everyone he's some kind of tough guy. Um, actually, you were the only one trying to do that. Nah, if I really want people to like me and vote for me, I should just act like myself. Wait, what if I can't remember what myself was? Who was I? Whoa, you play croquet, Goon? That's so cool! Really? Croquet? Me too! That's what I'm all about! Watch me whack that wicket, Waysiders! Man, calling cowboy. Come in, cowboy. Mr. K, you miss another jump? It's this ice, Lewis. It's just not giving my triple lutz the right bite. Make it colder now. Before my twelve o'clock session. Oh, I'm kind of like in the middle of something here. The cooling control's right near you. Just turn it up. But not too much, or you'll bust the air conditioner. Whoa! Uh. Do I have to do everything myself? Oh no! You see that snow too, Mrs. Jules? What snow? I just saw the clock, and I've got to run to a very important, uh, teacher learning skating thing. So, who wants to be in charge while I'm gone? Me, me, me! Okay, Myron, you can be in charge. But Myron, don't let things get out of hand. No problem. Okay. I'm the boss now. Obey me. Call me K. Um, excuse me, your highness. No need to be so formal. King is fine. Yeah, King. Shouldn't we do something about all that snow? A very good question, squire. Uh, I mean, student. As your fearless leader, I'll investigate. Myron, la, 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 what are you la, doing? La, 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 Myron, if you open that window, la, la, all the snow is going to fall la, la, la. in. See? Nothing to worry about. No, wait! Oh, no! The door's frozen shut! What do we do now? Freeze! Starve! Panic! Ah! Don't worry, peasants! I mean, people! I'm in charge here. I'll save us. Ah! 
Now, Mrs. Jules, before we start our lesson, you should know that the ice is a bit off today. So I wouldn't even think of trying any tricks. Whee! Of course, some people do their best work on substandard ice. But not me. I need it colder. The door is frozen shut. We may never get out of here. Duh, where were you two minutes ago? I know. Let's build some shelters and prepare for the worst. By the worst, do you mean like we might miss lunch? <laughs> oh no! Did anyone bring any food, snacks, fruits, vegetables? Hey, a snowman! As class leader, I say we prepare for the worst by building lots of snow friends to keep us company. Come on! I like your idea better, Todd. We can build a shelter for just the two of us. Doesn't that sound romantic? Um, Mauricia, this isn't about romance. It's about survival. Oh, you always have an excuse. I'll show you how to survive. Mauricia, I'm just trying to use some common sense here. Ha! This is no time for common sense. It's time for action. Who's with me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Hey, where's Eric, Eric? Over by Todd, Eric. Thank you, Todd. Mauricia, we should get prepared together. Maybe you should. But in my world, survivors don't prepare. They take action! Come on, action kids. Let's bust out of here. Action! <laughs> um, I think I'm with you, Todd. What about Myron? Come, loyal snow friends. Follow your king. Up, two, three, four. Up, two. I think he's a little busy right now. Woo! Ready to show me some of your famous ice moves, Mr. Kitswater? Hmm. Hmm. Not cold enough yet. Gotta crank this, baby. Stupid knob! Uh-oh. I'm cold. I'm tired. I'm hungry. We deserve it more than them. Come on, survivors. Let's prepare to take it away from them. Action! La 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 la. Huh? Oh no! We're under attack! Fight back, my loyal followers! Protect your king at all costs! Mauricia, what are you doing? Well, we're not just standing around doing nothing like you guys. What? But we built shelter and Thanksgiving dinner. Would you like white meat or white meat? White meat, please. We prepared. All you guys did was run really fast into the door. It's called taking action, Todd. Like this. Action! <gasps> hey, the only thing you're taking is our stuff. Dana? It's time we prepare our fort. Quick, we need a fort too. Why don't we just use the other side of their fort and call it ours? Yes, now that's what I call common sense. Action! Back away from our fort, Todd. What? It's our fort and our stuff. We built it, we prepared. Oh. It's all about you, 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 isn't it? If you had just decided to survive with me instead of everyone else, we wouldn't be having this problem. What? So this is all about you? No, you. 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 
Pew! You want action? I'll give you action! Action! He's right. Look what we've done. This is totally not helping our class. Your class? I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about my snow friends. No, <laughs> oh, They've been doing that ever since I bumped into that thingamajiggy on the wall over there. Uh, thermostat? Hurry! We can warm it up in here! <laughs> I'd love to help, but I have no idea how that watchama thingy works. Myron, this controls the cold and heat in the classroom. Watch. Snow friends, come back! Don't leave me! I am your king! <laughs> yes! All right! Sorry about how I acted before, Todd. I really just wanted to help. So did I. Turns out Myron is the one who sort of saved us after all. I did? But I've lost all my snow friends. Uh -huh. Except this funny orange one. Aw. Thanks, Myron. We really couldn't have survived without you. <gasps> You're the true king of snow day. Finally, the ice is just right. Lewis, should the temperature be rising so quickly? Hmm, only if someone adjusted a thermostat somewhere. I don't know why anyone would do that. Gangway! <laughs> <gasps> My triple nuts! It was perfect! lessons. <laughs> oh, man! Not again! 
I accidentally dropped my homework in there. I don't know, Eric. This kid Nick reached in there once. He got garbage hands for a month. Class, who can tell me the answer to this equation? Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. I know, I know. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Really? Here, better use this. Thanks, Eric. No problem, Eric. Hmm. Garbage hands. Have you heard that story about Nick and that big can of beans? <laughs> that reminds me of that Nick story. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go, gotta go. Steven! You can't go in there. It's the cow's bathroom. Yeah, so? This kid Nick went in there once, and he was never the same again. After that, every time someone made him laugh, <gasps> milk squirted out of his ears. Of course, I hear that ear milk is quite tasty. Mm. Ear milk? Whatever. I know there's no 19th floor, but I still think I can reach it. But don't you remember what happened to Nick? Hold on. Let's go back. I've been hearing these stories forever about this Nick kid. And you know what? There is no Nick. <gasps> I'll prove it. He's not in any of the school yearbooks. What about the week books? The yearbooks that came out each week. Check them. Nothing there either. And the Wayside Minute books? <laughs> hey, there we are! Yeah, but what's up with these? Ow! Ugh. Wow, those books are really up to date. See? No Nick. I checked the school's records. <laughs> Just five more minutes, Mom. I also checked the lost and found. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. And I didn't find a thing that belonged to Nick. I even asked Bebe to sketch Nick. Yeah, that's definitely his hair. Nick has bigger teeth. Ooh, how about some pointy ears? But no one could agree on what Nick looked like. And, ladies and gentlemen, do you know why? Because Nick is just some myth kids made up to explain things they don't understand. I don't understand. See, my point exactly. You can blame Nick, use him as an excuse, or just have some fun at his expense. That doesn't prove anything. It especially doesn't prove anything about Nick in the 19th floor. Never happened. It's impossible. Like most of his stories. Watch. See, it can't be done. The story's a fake. So is the myth. That's not how Nick did it, is it? Of course not. Todd, you really need to get your facts straight. Oh, is that right? I'll show you some facts about Nick and the can of beans story. See? Nick didn't turn into a giant bean monster. Well, it was a different can of beans. And you still didn't prove anything. Okay, but I can disprove that Nick story about the cow bathroom. Todd, stop! Don't you know what happened when Nick went in there? I do. Mmm, ear milk. Oh, brother. Todd! You can't go in there! I may never see you again! I'll be fine, Mauricia. Like I said, these Nick stories are fake. But you don't know that for sure, Todd. What if this is our last moment together? Forever! 
I can't let you go in there without one last special kiss. Huh? What's the big deal? I can't believe he's gone! I'll never wash this fist again! Oh, to live, to love, to punch! It's all too much! Hey! Todd, you're alive! I'm ready for my air milk now! No, it's not like that at all. It's just a plain old bathroom in there that some cows use. What? That can't be. Everyone knows Nick came out of there and was never the same again. Do I look any different? No. Aw, and I was so thirsty. See? It's all just some dumb story. None of these Nick things ever happened. And like I said, there is no Nick. Get it? Got it. Stupid story. I can't believe I believe that. Hey, don't look so down. Knowing the truth is a good thing, right? But I thought that was the truth. I'll miss Nick. Hey, don't worry. It's like that time Nick did the great thing. Oh, what's the use? Forget it. And you know what, guys? If you really want to tell a story, you can always tell it about me, right? I mean, I did some of those Nick things too. Guys? What'd I do? Who knew they could be so attached to a fake kid and his fake stories? Huh? Oh, hey, Todd, dude. Whoa, you look bummed, big time. What's going on? Ah, nothing. Just this stupid kid Nick everyone talks about. Stupid? Well, yeah, I mean, I finally proved he's fake, but that just made it all worse. Oh. Wait, that reminds me of this time Nick was going to school here. Ah, please, no more Nick stories. No, this is a good one, dude. Listen, this kid Nick, he loved Wayside so much. He said, dude, I love Wayside so much. I never want to leave. Yeah, and then what happened? <laughs> oh yeah, well, he stayed got the best job in the entire world. Lewis, what's with your arm? Oh man, I hate garbage hands. Whoa, hey, Nick did that too. Wait a minute. You're Nick? Shh, keep it hushed, dude. You really are? And you exist? Of course I do. Nick's my middle name, but that's besides the point. What do you mean? You exist. And those stories, are they real? A few are. Kids just make up the rest as they need them. But doesn't that bother you? I mean, that they're not even true? They're true enough. I guess kids like telling them. Nick must be good for something. I wouldn't want to ruin anything for him. Yeah, like I did. I think I've messed up Nick for everyone. Well, we'll see about that. Guys, you're never gonna believe this news about Nick. Oh, oh no! Ugh, come on, Todd. We already know he doesn't exist. Blah, 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 ruin my day. Thanks for nothing. No, but he does exist. I have proof. What? Ooh. Jealous! Remember how I went into the cow bathroom before, just like Nick? At first, I thought I proved the story was fake, but now, moo. Just what happened to Nick? Exactly, and he really does exist. What about the other stories, like the one about the 19th floor? Is that true too? Well, true enough. <laughs> okay, Louis, shut it off. Ten four, Todd Meister. Uh oh. Not really coming out of Todd's ear? 
Yeah, uh, about that. Um... It explains everything. It does? Duh, Todd! That must be exactly what the cows did to Nick! Hmm, true enough. Yeah! Yeah! Wow, Todd, you made that old Nick story even better. Yeah, by making it a Todd story. Well, I couldn't have done it without Nick. <laughs> Good morning, Todd. Oh, uh, hey, Mauricia. It's really nice to see you. Um, thanks. <laughs> oh, good morning, 344 South Fairview. Mr. K, I have a problem with Mauricia. Sorry, 344. I don't do problems anymore. That's Dr. Dana's job. Dr. who? Got problems? I don't care. But Dr. Data does! Wayside's radio advice problem solver on the PA! Hello, listeners, and welcome to the Dr. Dana Show. Broadcasting live, high atop Wayside. And I'm here to help solve your problems. And I'm here to help Dana! Myron, thanks. But I don't need your help right now. You can stay, but you have to be quiet. So let's... Okie dokie! <sighs> so let's get started. Caller 1, you're on the air. Yes, Dr. Data, I feel like people never get to know the real me. All they ever see are my feet. Caller one, your toes have a tail to tell. Learn to express yourself more through your feet. Well, that's a great idea, thanks. Problem solved. Oh, good answer, good answer. Can I help now? Myron, shh. Okay, next. So sorry. Next caller, Dr. Dana. There's this boy. Let's call him Todd. I like him, but I'm not sure if he likes me. Do you ever show him you like him? Oh, yes. I hit him all the time. Hmm, you hit him. Right in the shoulder. I've seen her. <laughs> Men are hunters. If you hunt them, they won't be interested. Let him come to you. So I should avoid him. Then Todd... <gasps> uh, I mean... Todd will come to me? Absolutely. Give him lots of space. He'll miss your pretty face. Of course! It rhymes! It must work! Problem solved. Next caller. Uh, uh, am I on the air? Yep, this is Dr. Dana, and we're on the air. Dr. Dana, now that you're solving all those snot-nosed brats' problems, I have nothing to do. Maybe you should take up a hobby. Really? How do you do that? Just pick your favorite thing that you like to do and do it. But what if you have two favorite things? Then do both. Problem solved. That's it. I'll do my two favorite things. Stamp collecting and cooking. Don't worry. It's happened to all of us. You just need to remember. Shampoo, rinse, then conditioner. Look, Dana, no hands! Mauricia's giving me a lot of space. Gee, I miss her pretty face. Hey, Mauricia, wait, there's an empty seat here. Thank you, Dr. Dana. And my advice to you would be to go with a mixture of Kentucky bluegrass and fine fescue. Dude, I, I mean, Doc, thanks for helping me fix the school lawn. Are you okay? No, I get it. You're all out of advice. Thank goodness I'm here to help you out. Hello, listeners. The doctor is in the house. Dana, you can stay, but you have to be quiet. So until the doctor cures her laryngitis, she wants me to fill in for her. So let's solve those problems. Next caller. Hi, Doc D. Uh, Myron. I was just wondering, which is more important, spiritual freedom or physical freedom? Um. 
Oh, all freedom is uh, important. And to best experience it, you should place a basket over your head. A basket over my head? That's what Dr. Dana says. Problem solved. Well, if Dr. Dana says so. Next caller. When is Halloween this year? Mm, February 2nd. I thought that was Groundhog's Day. What? They combined Halloween with Groundhog's Day? Oh, Dr. Dana says it's all the same. So get yourself the closest Groundhog and start celebrating. Um, how about a porcupine? Even better. Doc Dana says Happy Hollow Hog Day to you. Problem solved. Next caller. What are you doing? Dr. Dana says stop, Dana. Yeah, Dana. Leave Dr. Dana alone. Dana's acting kind of funny. Should we take her to the nurse's office or something? Problem solved. Next caller. <laughs> This hobby business is a complete disaster. Uh, Dr. Dana? Dr. Dana, you're on the air. Oh, these hobbies aren't working out. What should I do with my free time now? I know. Dr. Dana says you should... Ask Miss Mush to marry you. Hmm, marriage. Never tried that before. But it might be fun! Gotta get you to the nurse. <laughs> hmm, not bad, but your toe tails need more action. Can you add a wrestling scene? <laughs> Dr. Dana says more, more, more. Hey, Miss Mush, we need the school nurse. Aha, uh -huh. no problem. Hmm, what's wrong with her? Tell her, Dana. <laughs> oh, she lose voice. I fix. I just need few ingredients. I be back. <laughs> Dr. Dana, should I go to France or Fiji? Neither. Dr. Dana says it's time to fulfill your dream of being a trapeze artist. Problem solved. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. I hope you're right, Dr. Dana! Dana, what have you done? Ah! Dr. Dana now says I should start hitting Todd again. Harder! Johnny, look out! Your advice stinks, Dr. D. Special fix it stew ready! It clear throat. Voice come back. Miss Mush, you are so... <laughs> well, you're cooking. Now that's... Not much there, either. Hey, I know! Miss Mush, you are so great with the whatchamacallits. Wait, I can't stand those little people. We have nothing in common. Hey, Kidski, what here are you for? I do not want to marry you. I don't want to marry you, either. Oh, you want to eat now? says, problem solved. Next caller. Okay, do your stuff, stop. <laughs> Dr. Dana says, enough with the Dr. Dana. Wow, you can speak. Yes, and this is 
what I have to say. The Dr. Dana Show has officially been canceled. Please ignore any advice you have received. And just think for yourself, people. Thank goodness that's over with. This hobby stuff is taking up all my free time. Better get back to work. What? The show's canceled? You can't do that! I'm going to help, and nothing's going to stop me! Uh-oh. Class, what's wrong with Myron? Oh, he lost his voice yelling, but he asked me to speak for him. And Myron says he'd like to demonstrate his trapeze skills. Oh, he can borrow mine. Myron also says he needs a little help here. Myron says he'd like to express himself more. While wearing a basket on his head. Happy Hollow Hog Day! <laughs> now that's a problem solved. Yay! to our lesson. So, class, always remember we can calculate the circumference of the Earth by using pi r squared. Come on. Come on. Okay, class, time for pizza! Yay! Well, it's tough being first all the time. But somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what took you guys so long? What's the rush, Mauricia? I'm not in a rush. I just like to be first. Line up for sports gear. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I'm first for soccer. Thanks. <laughs> I'm first for baseball. Thanks. Awesome. I'm first for... <laughs> Whatever. Whoa! Better get extra gear. I'm first for extra gear! Mauricia, what do you need all that stuff for? You don't even like some of these sports. So? Even if I don't like them, I still want to be first in line to play them. Hey! I'm first! <laughs> Whoa! I think I drank it all! Uh-oh. Coming through! I'm first! Um, 
Mauricia, this is the boys' bathroom. You can't go in there. That's okay. I didn't have to go. I just wanted to be first. Oh, yeah? Hey, wait your turn. <laughs> my favorite part of the day, just me and my donut. Ah. What? Ah! Go! Die, 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 die. Hey, Mr. K, did you check out those new wheels I put on your podium yet? Wheels? Mauricia, this is ridiculous. Who cares if you're first in line for the boys' bathroom? Ha! Spoken like a true second placer. You just don't understand. Oh, I'll beat you all to class! Oh. Oh. Stupid wheels. Hate them even more than goose eggs. Ah! Mr. K, are you all right? You're banned, all of you. The students? No, these round things. Mr. Kitswater, no! You're banned, you too. And you're banned too. Get lost. Whoa, Mr. K, are you banning wheels from Wayside? No, Lewis, I'm going even further. I'm banning anything that's round. I mean, round. All done. Are you sure about this, Lewis? Mr. K's new rule, can't have anything round. Now everything is so fair and square. Lunch time! Yeah! <sighs> hey, shouldn't we wait for Mauricia? Don't worry, Todd. She's fast. She'll catch up. Besides, she never waits for us. Huh. I guess you're right. <gasps> Hold on, guys. I'm coming. Guys? Ah, nothing like eating three square meals a day. <laughs> Mauricia. Where have you been? Square. Despair. Going nowhere. <sighs> Come on, Mauricia. Time for class. Be right there. Um, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm coming. Just got to work up some momentum here. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe you should go on ahead. I'll catch up. I always do. Yay! I got it! Hooray! Hmm, this stuff doesn't work too well, but at least we get to play with it. <sighs> Sorry, Mauricia. All up. Turn the square, Mr. K! I'm trying! 
Perfect. Carry on, Lewis. Mauricia, need some company? Thanks, Todd. I always knew you were slow. Oh, I mean, nice. Thanks. And I'm not that slow. Yes, you are. Just look at you. Mauricia, who cares who's slow or fast or first or last? I do, I do, I do, I do! Now just watch as I beat you to the top. Time for my daily hula hooping. Ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ow. Ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ow. Hmm. Even my yo-yo is better. Yowie! Ah. Go! I love squares. <sighs> At least I can still enjoy my favorite part of the day, donut time. Donut? I'm first! I'm first! Or am I last again? Oh, look who just beat me up the stairs! You don't have to do that, Todd. Did I give you too much of a head start? No, it's not that. But you're first. Be happy. But I can't. Sitting here all by myself, it seems whether you're first or last isn't as important as being with your friends. Happy donut time ruined? <laughs> no! I've got to round things up around here. Round it up. 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 Not you. Gotta admit, it's kind of nice to actually spend time with your friends instead of always trying to beat them. Especially your special friends. No need to make that fist square. Round it up. And those wheels, too! It's great to have my wheels back! Race it to the schoolyard! Wait a minute. Hey! You guys coming or what? Mauricia, you waited for us? Why wouldn't I? Because now you won't be first. Ah! No sense rushing everywhere if you just end up getting there alone. I mean, duh. Why don't we all be first together? Woohoo! Oh, isn't that sweet? Totally. Those kids are awesome. Who? I don't know what you're blathering about, Lewis. All I care about is my sweet donut. Round it up. All right, everyone, looking good. Time to beautify this place. Mr. K, why are we cutting everything down? We're not cutting down, Lewis. We're building up. For example, we need to remove this green bushy-shaped eyesore to make way for my new plans for the schoolyard. You're definitely not part of my plan. Shoo shoo, go away. You start this thing. <laughs> That's what I call progress. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Mr. Kidswater, is the plan to cut everything down? Yes, it's all part of my plan. We need every square inch of this yard for my new gazebo. <laughs> Huh? Poor little guy. Ah, perfect. Stage one complete. I'll be in my office thinking up stage two while all of you clean up this mess. Hey, Joe's ditching your duty. He's doing less work than Myron. What? That's impossible. No one does less work than me. We'll see about that. Hey, Joe, wait up. Joe, I just wanted to say, achoo, and achoo, achoo, achoo. Are you okay? I think I'm allergic to, achoo. Joe? Now, everyone, what's the most important part of spelling class? The calculator! Correct. Mauricia, I don't see your calculator. It's right here, Mrs. Jules. Ah, now, does everyone know what we do with our calculators in spelling class? Uh -huh. I know. You turn it upside down and spell words for the numbers, like this. 07734 spells hello. Ooh. Excellent, Dana. Mrs. Jules? Silly me, I forgot my calculator for spelling class. Oh, Joe has an extra one. Just borrow his. Joe, may I borrow one of your... <laughs> Joe, your hair just threw something at me. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. 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 Hey! It didn't do it that time either. I couldn't see anything around that hair. It's like it grew. Yeah, it grew into a giant stinky peanut throwing thing. Maybe he just needs to wash it. Or cut it. Or prune it. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Mind if I sit with you guys? Achoo! Um, that seat is taken. Taken? Taken by, uh... By Steven's imaginary friend. I thought I told you to wait at home, Mr. Invisible. Achoo! Phew, that was a close one. I feel bad for lying to him. I feel bad for smelling him. <laughs> Mr. Invisible, you're silly. Joe's gone, Steven. You can stop pretending now. Pretending what? Let's go solve a mystery, Mr. Invisible. <laughs> Guys, maybe we should tell Joe we're sorry. Ew. Never mind. Why, hello, my little friend. Don't you know you're trespassing? Maybe you need a closer look at my plan. Kidski, why are you scared little furry pickle who no bother you? Sorry, Miss Mush. I just can't let anyone get in the way of my gazebo with all its playrooms and balconies and entertainment stuff. What? You know what gazebo is? Of course I do. It's one of those, you know, amazing, fun gazebo places where you gazebo. What? You don't believe me? Fine, I'll show you. I'll show the whole school. Lewis! Yes, Mr. K? Get everyone down here. My gazebo should be here any minute. And I want everyone to see my gazebo. Because it's where I will gazebo in my gazebo. Got it? Uh, whatever you say, Mr. K. That's it. You guys have a problem with me? Oh no, we like you. 
It's just your Achoo! You know, Achoo! on top of your head. Achoo! There's nothing wrong with what's on top of my head. That didn't happen. Again. Oh. Come on, children, hurry. Mr. Kidswater wants us all downstairs for the unveiling of his new gazebo. Yeah! Oh, no. Oh, the last green thing in the schoolyard. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going to need that space for my gazebo. What do you mean, no? Don't you know you're getting in the way of my glorious and grand gazebo? What's Mr. K doing to that poor squirrel? No! Whoa, Joe! We want to save that squirrel, not scare him with, you know. Whoa! My crown, my gazebo. <laughs> what is he doing? Huh? Where'd he go? Ha! Must have scared him away. That'll show him to get in the way of my gazebo with all its disco floors and hot tubs. Joe, your hair saved that squirrel. And two rabbits and a chipmunk. I'm allergic to chipmunks. So that explains why I'm sneezing. I think we owe you an apology about, you know. No, I don't. Yeah, we're sorry we avoided you before. We didn't realize your hair was a nature refuge. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, I don't know what would have happened to those little guys. Achoo! Your hair is awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Here it is, my gazebo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Open it, Lewis, open it. What's that? It's your gazebo, Mr. K. But where's the dance floor, the hot tub, all the party rooms? Um, I don't know where you got that idea, Mr. K. But this is pretty much what a gazebo looks like. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Take it away. Now. Ugh. As for the rest of you, I have a new plan. You'll all turn this barren wasteland back into a schoolyard. Wait a minute. Why do we have to do all the work? OK. Revise new plan. We'll turn this barren wasteland back into a schoolyard. <laughs> okay, I will turn this barren wasteland back into a schoolyard. Stupid gazebo. Ow! Now that's how you beautify your yard.
so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I want to get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm going to find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. What do you want? Twenty, twenty-nine. 30, hey, Mr. K, your mail order 30, 30, IQ 30, test is here. Three, thirty-nine. Huh? It's here! It's here! I can finally show everyone my genius. Lewis, leave me. I must have my time. <laughs> hmm, let's see. A Super IQ computer? Nice! And a Super IQ test! Let's get this party started! Yes! Now nothing can stop me! All right, here we go. Question one. First question, right at the beginning. Ah, I can't do it. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I know, those whatchamacallits in Mrs. Jewel's class are having a science fair, and I can get some great ideas there. Behold, the hot lava as it cuts a slow, menacing path down the volcano. Well done, John. Ah, uh, nothing ever works right for me. Don't worry, John. You and your volcano are just upside down. Nothing wrong with that. Tell that to my family. We've had these problems for centuries. <laughs> and it just keeps getting worse every generation. My science project is ruined. What am I gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. Finders keepers. I bet someone would pay good money for this money. My red, that's John's stuff. Grrr. Thanks guys, but it's no use. I'm just one upside down failure. <laughs> He's an upside down genius. That's the best volcano ketchup dispenser I've ever seen. Now that's the kind of upside down idea I need to awaken my genius. <laughs> I can't even cry right. Oh yes you can. And we're gonna help you, right? Right. Don't worry, John. I have the perfect plan to make you stand right side up. All we need is leverage. Which is a simple equation of force times distance. There. Okay, that was my idea. Anyone else? Coming right up. Or rather, down. Whoa! Wow! You did it! Cool. It's no use. Nothing's ever gonna make me stand upright. Finders keepers! It's a big magnet. This way I don't even have to bend over to pick up his stuff. That's it, Myron. You're brilliant. Yes, I know. Hey, where'd my glasses go? Help! Help! 
It's so obvious to me now. The reason why I didn't have any of the answers is because all my great ideas were in my feet. But now, all of them are in my head. Let's get this IQ test started. Question two. Oh. A metal helmet? How else is this giant electromagnet going to lift you? Hello! I bring for you mushroom muffins. Is yes? Mauricia, Dana, put them on John's feet to weigh them down. Oh, yeah. Okay. What? You say wow? No, I said ow. Wow. Ow. It means same thing in old country. I go make more. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. It's working! So, how do you feel, John? So, how do you feel, John? Blood rushing to feet. Well, I was just at the orthodontist last week. Hmm. Let's see here. If Mary had three apples and a train was leaving from Chicago... <laughs> Chicago, who comes up with this stuff? Ah! Hey, come back here! I'm not finished! I test! Meet up with a giant magnet! Psst, Miss Mush, if three apples were going to Chicago... Yes! Finders keepers! That didn't work at all. Well, back to the drawing board. I guess we're all out of ideas. Not yet. I still have a few up my sleeve. This is awesome! Thanks, Todd. Oh, don't thank me, John. Thank Miss Mush's daily special. Completely inedible, but a fantastic super glue. Um, are you okay, John? Yeah, fine. Thanks for everything, guys. But there's no fixing me. Forget it. You can't help me. Maybe John's right. Oh, Todd, maybe you're looking at it the wrong way. That's it, Myron. Maybe we're all looking at it the wrong way. Oh, hello, class. I see some new faces today. That's not my face, Mrs. Jules. Oh, dear. You're right. Thank you, Mrs. Jules. <laughs> Aunt Dana, are you okay? France! Denmark! Uh, 1952! I think she's not used to standing on her head this long. Uh, Mama Marshmallows! Mason Dixon line! <gasps> All of her smarts must be leaking out. Yeah, but it's for a good cause. We're trying to help John. What's wrong with John? Don't you know about all the trouble being upside down has caused his family? Trouble? Oh, 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 no, that's not what I heard. I heard one of them created fire. Another one invented... <gasps> underwear. And finally, his great-grandfather came up with one of the most important inventions. The exploding test tube. So, being upside down isn't such a bad thing after all. Settle down, class. John is going to present his new science project. Thanks, Mrs. Jules. By reversing polarity, we can make magnets both repel and attract objects. Or people, if they're dressed right. I call finders keepers on this funny hat. Whoa! 
you can go side to side. Whoa! Or up and down. It doesn't matter. Choose whichever way works for you. And that's my science project. What a wonderful experiment, John. A plus. Thank you, Mrs. Jules. But I couldn't have done it without my upside down friends. Wait a minute. We're right side up. You're the one who's upside down. That's what you think. Wait a minute. If John's the one who's right side up, then that means... We're all upside down! Ah! Lewis! I did it! I did it! It's done! Done what, Mr. K? I completed my IQ test. Oh, I can't look. You, you need to check it for me in the Super IQ computer. No problemo. Well, what does it say? What's my score? Am I a genius? Whoa, Mr. K, you scored 99%. Yeah! 99%! Woohoo! I'm the smartest principal at Wayside. In your face, Lewis! I'm a genius, I'm a genius. Who's a genius? Who's a genius? This genius is out of here. I'm a genius, I'm a genius. Hey, the computer's upside down. 99%? 66%. Now that's about right. In your face, cow! of you whatchamacallits did this. Did what, Mr. Kidswater? This! This? No, this! Did this? No, this! Oh, this! But it looks empty. Exactly. Do you know what's supposed to be on my empty desk? No. This! My rubber band ball. Oh, sweet elastic orb. Your bands may be rubber. But your heart is all gold. I worked six months on this one. I was supposed to show it at my big principal's meeting tonight. Kids water, kids water, kids water, kids water, kids water, kids water, kids water. 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 But without that ball, I'll just have to talk about education and, and, and school stuff. I'll be ruined as a principal. Ruined! Ruined! Oh, I can't let that happen to you, Mr. K. I confess, I was in your office. Mm. But it wasn't my fault. Let me explain. <gasps> it's Myron! Oh my goodness! Can you sign my stuffy? Why, certainly. <gasps> Thanks, Myron. Oh, hi, Mr. K. Oh, help me, help me. I need a great and important man to guard my rubber ball while I'm gone. You can count on me, Mr. K. What would I do without you, Myron? Sometimes I wonder. You're safe now, sweet elastic, um, brown thing. Hey, Myron. Bet you can't pull one of the rubber bands off that ball. Never! I have sworn a sacred oath to protect it. Come on. It won't miss a little old gum band or two. No, 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 no. Well, if you're too scared, uh -huh. I'll just have to do it myself. <gasps>
but one regret. <laughs> that I could not do more for you, <laughs> my dear. Sweet <coughs> wayside. So that's basically how it happened. So it's all the girl's fault, is it? Well, technically, I was dying heroically when the ball exploded, so I didn't really see anything. But yes, Dana did it. Ooh, you are so busted. Next! <gasps> oh no, Mr. Kidswater. That's not how it happened at all. See, I was walking down the hallway. Ah. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Let me watch your rubber band ball, oh, please, oh, please. Sure, go ahead, Mitchell. Yippee! And it's Myron. Whatever. Wow! Hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Myron, yum. the rules say you're not supposed to touch it. Touch what? Uh -huh. Hey! This. <gasps> I've got to file this ball away for its own protection. But I'm playing with it. No! <laughs> R for round, or R for rubber band, or maybe R for rubber ball. <gasps> I know, I'll file it under R for round, rubber band, rubber ball. Hmm, let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F. Real luxury! So, it's the skating girl's fault, is it? Yes, I'm completely certain that it's Mauricia's fault. My fault? Oh, no, 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 no. See, this is what really happened. Help! Step one! With amazing extreme sports action skills, because I need extreme help! Extreme help is on the way! She loves me, she loves me not. She won't. <gasps> she loves me. I must save Myron. <laughs> <gasps> Mauricia. <gasps> oh, can't move. I can't bear to watch you suffer so. I will avenge you. <laughs> It's his fault, is it? Todd was so overcome with emotion at seeing me hurt. He went nuts. That's what happens when boys fall in love. Hmm, still doesn't explain what happened to my rubber band ball. What rubber band ball? Next! What? I didn't trash this place. I was fixing it up. You see, I was on the bonus round of Pickle Ninja Punch-Out. <gasps> Way to go, Mauricia. You just blew my power up. Myron! P Q R. Oh, brother. La, 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 la. Mauricia, la, 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 what are you la, la, la. doing? Come on, we've got to straighten this place up before Mr. K gets back. That's the best idea I've ever heard. Coming! Out the window! Your office was perfect when I left, so I have no idea how this happened. And what about this? A rubber band ball. You're kidding me, right? I've already interrogated all the whatchamacallits. This just doesn't make sense. Cow! Get in here! Yes, you! You heard me! Moo, 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 moo. <laughs> Myron, the rules say you're not supposed to touch it. Touch what? Uh -huh. Hey! This. <gasps> I've got to file this ball away for its own protection. But I'm playing with it. No! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Let's see. A, B, C. D, Help! F. Someone! Molly? Mumu, Mumu, Mumu. Right. Continue. Go on. Mumu, 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 Mumu. Uh oh, he's coming out the window. <laughs> hey there, little guy. Guess what I got for you? New clothes. <laughs> Rubber ball! Who did this? I did this. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> okay, Cal, that's all. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> How could you guys blame me for everything? I didn't blame you. I blamed Rizia. What? Not fair. It was all Myron's fault. Oh, no. I gave my life for this school. Well, sort of. No, no, you did. No, no. You're a liar. You're a liar. liar. After a thorough investigation, it appears you're all <clears throat> guilty. What? Mm-hmm. But since I am a kind and generous principal, I'm willing to forgive you. It's all Mr. K's fault. <laughs> what? No, I didn't say that. Don't worry, Mr. K. We all make mistakes. Uh, no, no, uh, really. It, it, it was you guys. No, I didn't mean you guys. I meant you guys. I mean, ugh, the other principals will never forgive me if I don't show them at least something. Here, Mr. K. I made this for you while we were waiting outside your office to be punished for the thing we didn't do. For me? Oh, thank you, my friend. <gasps> really? Yeah, really. Now go. Shoo, shoo. Before you cause any more trouble around here. What are we ever gonna do with them? Now let's go inside and get ready for the principal's meeting. Mr. Kitzwater speaking. Yes, Lewis, hurry it up. Can't you see I'm getting ready to go to my bouncy room? What? Mrs. Jules is home today. Mrs. Jules is home today? <laughs> Article 26, paragraph D, principal must report to absent teachers. <laughs> Classroom? Oh no, not like last time. Uh, 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 
Is it safe? Principal Kidswater? Ooh. Yes. Uh, good morning. Uh, 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 whatchamacallits? You mean students. Yes, whatever. Present and accounted for, Mr. Kitswater. Thanks, Marsha. It's Myron. Who? <laughs> ah. Mr. K visits a classroom. This is one for the book of rare events. I'll put it right between my photo of Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. Dana's right, Mr. Kidswater. You never set foot in classrooms. What gives? Oh, uh, Mrs. Jules is sick at home today, and the rules say I must handle a class when no other substitutes or cows are available. Hooray! Principal Kidswater is our teacher for the day! Yay! Can I call you teacher, teacher? Oh, no, no, no. The manual doesn't say anything about... Uh, teachering. My job is simply to handle you. So, consider yourselves handled. That is all. <laughs> See? This is exactly why I don't go into classrooms. What subject shall we start with today, teacher? <laughs> Looks like we're starting with Phys Ed. Shoo Shoo, go away! This gym class is quite a workout. Or maybe it's geography class. We are covering a lot of ground here. Uh... Did you hear that, Mr. Pumpkin? He's teaching us a foreign language. Ah! 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 <laughs> <sighs> Hi, Mr. Kisswater! Ah, no! <laughs> Teacher, am I doing this right? Yeah, I want to make sure my form is perfect. <laughs> no, no, no! Roll your eyes around a little and thrash your arms around a bit more. Better. <laughs> so this is what being a principal is like? What else do you do all day? Hmm, well, there's this. And this. And this. And this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and sometimes this. Blah, blah, blah. But mostly it's pretty much this. Any questions? As in, blah, blah, blah. Let's see here. Blah. B. L. La. Blah. Is that word in the dictionary? The dictionary? Oh, you kids today and your make em up hippity hoppity words. Yee yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm a caveman. I'm the caveman. I'm, I'm a, a dancing dance fool. I'm a caveman. <laughs> K-Man! Oh my! Yeah! K-Man out! K-Man! Wow! What kind of ball is this? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that's my medicine ball from my heavyweight title days. My trainer used to toss it in my gut to toughen up my rock hard abs. Come on! Throw it at me! <laughs> Hmm, that's weird. Heavier than I remember. Whoa! Check out these action shots! Are you a cowboy too? Something like that. <laughs> yip, yip, yippee! And these are my ice dancing trophies. Ooh. Careful! I keep them sharp just in case anyone tries to steal my title. Self-portrait! How come you look so sad in all of these, teacher? Sadness is my inspiration, and tears are my paint. <laughs> <laughs> I call this one me and my goose egg. Ooh, pretty! Halt! 
That bonsai tree is very fragile. I worked for many years to train it to look like that. Wow, you train trees? Huh? Of course not. I prune the tree naturally. Like the wind. <gasps> bonsai! It helps to have an anchovy burrito for breakfast. Wow! Show us more, teacher! Here's my mechanical bowl and rodeo room. Wind tunnel room where I work on my skydiving moves. Planetarium and space travel simulator. Oh! <laughs> You've got to see what I've done to the skating rink. Here I combine two of my loves. Ice dancing and fantasy role playing. Observe as I attempt a triple sow cow whilst reenacting a dragon joust. Thank you, Merlin. It's Myron. I challenge thee to a joust, O oh cowardly dragon. Wowie! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Teacher! 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 Uh-oh. I knew I shouldn't have worn the extra heavy gauntlets. Mr. K, do you need help? Oh, no, children. I'm a professional. I don't need any help. I have everything under control. Yes, gotta shimmy over to the... Uh-oh. Ah! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So that's how thermodynamic principles are applied to indoor ice skating facilities. Tell me about it. I'll save you, Sir Kits, a lot. <laughs> Legs so cold. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I invented leg warmers? Yes! Woo! Yay! Leg warmers? Wow! Mr. K, I've got to admit, you're way more interesting than our regular teachers. Yeah, I've learned how to spell all kinds of new words like blah, 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 and boom, ch boom, 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 ch We've learned about art and sports and fashion. And I've started training my pumpkin, Bondi! <laughs> Wait a sec, I taught you that? Oh, you taught us way more than that. You taught us we can be anything we want to be. Boxing champ, paddle ball guy, inspiration, Call it Kitspiration! Well, I guess I am quite the vessel of knowledge, aren't I? This teach -a call it stuff ain't so bad. Come on, I'll show you more. Yay! There you are. I was wondering why you weren't up in the classroom. Hey, Mrs. Jules, Principal Kitswater taught us today. Oh, he did, did he? Yes, and it was fun. You get paid for doing this? Wait a second. Aren't you supposed to be sick at home? Oh, no. It was my day off, and I was sick of being at home, so I came in today. Didn't you get the message? I left it in your bouncy room. You have a bouncy room, too? Well, only for staff meetings, but I guess you kids can see it. Yay! <gasps> oh. Well, maybe another time, children. Your regular teacher's back, so... I guess this is goodbye. I'll miss you all. Thanks for everything, Principal Kitswater. No, today it's Teacher Kitswater. Yay! I'm gonna miss those kids. <laughs> hey! This is great kidspiration. Blood indeed. <laughs> hmm. I call this one me and the whatchamacallits. <laughs> Class, 
Can anyone tell me what the square root of a cat is? Oh. <laughs> Eric? Oh. Oh. Is the cat orange or white? Oh, interesting. Say, orange. Oh. 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 Eric? Oh. An eighth of a fur ball. Well done, Eric. You get a gold star. She never picks me. It's like I don't exist. Ah, yes. I, too, have felt the fateful flick of this fickle finger called fame. Mm -hmm. Flick, flick, flick. Uh, I don't know about that. I just want to be noticed. Don't we all, Eric? Who, me? No, Eric. Me? No, the other one. Look, you need to change your name, Eric, who is not those other Erics. Change it to what? How about something classy and powerful and important? Yes, I'll call myself Hercules! No, I was thinking more of... Myron. Myron? Sure, you need to move out of the Eric shadow and into... The Myron Shadow. <laughs> okay, you can call me Myron then. What? You can't do that. Chapter 4, Subsection 6, Article H of the Wayside Rulebook states. <clears throat> All Wayside classrooms must have at least three students named Eric at all times. No more, no less. Oh my, is this true, Eric? It's Myron. See, she noticed you already. Teacher's pet. Where will we get a third Eric? <gasps> Me, I'll be an Eric. Anything to be in the same row as... Oh, Todd. My name's uh -huh. Eric now. Eric who loves Todd. Okay, the first thing you need to know about being a Myron is that it's all about power and respect. Being a Myron is like being a king. <clears throat> oh, thank you for checking the water for me, noble water tester. Everyone looks up to a Myron. Even animals. Never forget how important you and your name are to these people. Hey, Milty, I accidentally flushed a penny down this toilet. Can you find it for me? Thanks, Marianne. Uh -huh. And little Marianne. See? Like I said, power and respect. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Um, are you sure about this? What? But Fluffy loves you. Eric's can't have pets, Todd. It's in the rules. So just watch Fluffy until I get the other Eric's to move my seat back here. Then we can all be together like one happy family. <sighs> nice, Fluffy. Thanks, little Myron. Now, do you have any questions? Yes. When do we ride our bicycle built for three? Huh? And practice our concerto. What's that? And trade eyeglasses? I can't do that. See this? This is my look. I change this, no one recognizes me. See? I'm completely anonymous. Hey, Myron. Mr. Kidswater? You called me Myron. Whatever. Did you get my lucky penny out of the toilet? Thanks a lot, Munchie. Must get closer to Todd. Hey, are you looking at my notes? Me? Uh, no. <laughs> it's okay if you were, because we Eric's always help each other out with our homework. Yeah. Let me see your homework, Eric who loves Todd. Wait. This isn't homework. It's hearts and flowers, and the name Todd written a zillion times. Oh, that? 
Uh, that's just my lunch. Are you okay, Eric? Yes. I'm fine, Eric. Now trade seats with me, Eric. Okay, Eric. No, I meant him. Eric. Oh, why didn't you say so, Eric? <laughs> Eric and Eric, I want to sit back there in front of Todd. Can I just do that? Huh? Whoa! Don't have to get all snippy about it, Eric. Right, Eric? Yeah, Eric. Eric and I will let you sit there. <laughs> right after we ride our bicycle built for three! Yay! Bicycle built for who? <laughs> Can't we just roller skate instead? Eric's don't roller skate. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> can I just hang out with the other Eric's a little bit? Look, little Myron, you're not a part of that trio anymore. You're in a duo. That means you duo everything I ask. Like what? Well, for starters, tell me I'm great. You're great? <laughs> oh, you're a fast learner, little Myron. <laughs> Woo! This shameless praise is making me thirsty. <laughs> Why don't you get Big Myron a big drink? See? Isn't this fun? <sighs> don't forget the ice! <sighs> Shall we practice our concerto? Ow. What am I supposed to do with this? You play it, but first, three, two, one. drink. A powerful elixir. A blend of three majestic ingredients. Root beer, lemonade, and cream soda. Now off you go. What have I done? So then I says, do you think Todd likes me, likes me, or likes me, likes me? I think he likes me. What do you think? You Eric's give like the best advice ever. But we haven't even said anything. Exactly! Now, can we trade seats like you promised, Eric? Oh, Todd. Finally, we can sit next to each other. Great. Maurizia, or er, Eric, whoever, take Fluffy. I haven't moved in hours. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Not so fast, Eric, who loves Todd. What do you want, little Myron? Just one thing to be an Eric again. <laughs> what? But our duo, think of the good times. I'm tired of duoing stuff for you. I'd rather be a small Eric than a little Myron. <gasps> <laughs> Hold on, we need three Erics at all times. No more, no less. That means we can't have four Erics. Tough luck, little Myron, who used to be Eric. No, Eric, who loves Todd. I'll prove that I'm the real Eric. I challenge you to an Eric off. It is so on. Who am I kidding? It looks like small Eric is the real Eric. Yay! Yay! Hey, wait for me! I want to be an Eric too! <sighs> now everyone. 
everything can go back to normal. Hand over the glasses, Mauricia. Yeah, maybe I'm not cut out for this Eric stuff anyway. And take your fluffy. Sorry, Todd. All I wanted was to sit next to you. You know, you could have just asked. Really? Then, can I sit next to you? Well, there's no seat here. But I'll sit with you at lunch if you want. Whoa! Awesome! How about in the playground, too? And on the bus? And even when we're not at school? Well, uh, yeah. What about in high school and college? Can I sit next to you at your first job? And when you're 90 years old, can I sit beside you then, even if you're old and stinky? Correspond with these male pushing mallards. Ooh, can I answer them for you instead? Sure, whatever, Mitchie. It's Myron. Hey, it's from Le Chef. You know. You stinky faced brats. Allez, allez! He used to cook here. Until you fired him. Please hang up and try your call again. He was mad about that. Remember? No. But I have a question for you. Why don't these ducks ever bring me donuts instead of letters? Now that would be a good use for a duck. Ah. <gasps> wow! This sounds exciting! Bonjour, stinky face. I challenge you for the School of Wayside. A contest de la parkour. Parkour? <laughs> Those French words make me laugh every time. You know. Like guacamole and cucamonga. <laughs> you should accept this challenge, Mr. Kidswater. You win at everything. You're the best. The best, huh? I am, aren't I? Yeah, totally. You could whip Le Chef with one arm tied behind your back. I could, couldn't I? I bet that you could beat him with both arms tied behind your back. Right on. That Le Chef won't stand the chance. You go, sir. <laughs> Write this down. Tell that two-bit fry cook that I accept his challenge, and I want something in return if I win. You mean, when you win. <laughs> Here you go, letter duck. Go, Todd! Go, Todd! Go, Todd! Go, Todd! Go, Todd! Go, Todd! Go, 
Todd! Go to... Mauricia, can you not stand so close to me? You're blocking the light. So, we meet again, you stinky-faced kids. Masha! We oui, and I am here to win your school in a challenge de la parkour! hey -ya! Ready for your parkour beatdown? Henri, he has no idea what parkour is. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kitzwater, let me explain. Parkour is a daredevil sport from France, where you climb the outside of tall buildings. That's crazy talk. I'm not doing that. But Mr. Kitzwater, who's gonna save Wayside? Save... Wayside? Ah. Oh no! What are we gonna do now? We can't let Wayside down. I guess we gotta do it. <laughs> that means nothing! I am four-time champion de la parkour! Ah. Uh, French dude? Sorry, but I'm in charge of the schoolyard. See, no one's allowed to climb the outside walls when I'm around. Ha! Just try to stop me, again! Ha! You think that will stop me? Okay, I climb inside instead. <laughs> <laughs> you stinky faces won't be ha ha when I win your school. Ha 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 Can he really win the school? Well, according to the official Wayside Rulebook, Chapter 17A, Subsection 12, Paragraph 6B, <clears throat> a bat's a bat. Wait a second. This handwriting looks awfully familiar. Yeah. Don't you like the way I put little smiley faces over the eyes? Myron, you wrote this? Well, kinda. This is all my fault. I'm the one who answered Mr. K's mail. I made the bed. Ah! Well, what are we waiting for? I'm not gonna let some creepy crawly Frenchman win my school. Action! Mauricia's right. We beat Le Chef once, we can beat him again. Come on. You coming, Myron? Oh, go on without me. I'll just make things worse. On the market, set, go! <laughs> oh, you're going down, Le Chef. You and Le Porcupine are no match for my Duke. Your what? My Duke. Duke! Duke! Careful! All that screaming's gonna scare that duck. Okay, Henri, show her la cuisine. Oh no! Savory sauce, creamy French cuisine. Get hold on! Mauricia, no! Ah. <sighs> He's not playing fair. Dana, nose clips. The stinky faced brats think they can beat me? A genius always comes prepared. Ha! You missed! That's what you think. <laughs> Sammy? <laughs> What's that smell? It smells like a Frenchy fry cook. Ah, it's silly cooking woman with a non-French accent. I will soon rule the school by winning le race à la top. Ta, good luck. I was three-time thumb wrestle champion in Mama Land. That means nothing. I am four-time champion de la parkour. Take it away, Miss Mush. Whoo, booby! Look out! Stupid, 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 stupid. Will you please shut your trap? I'm trying to panic over here. I'm sorry, Mr. K. It's just that if only my stupid, stupid big mouth could fix this. Why don't you use that stupid, stupid big mouth and say something to make me feel better? 
That's it! I've got to say something! Okay, go ahead. Start making me feel better. Look, my stupid big mouth got us into trouble by betting, Le Chef. Maybe I can get us out of trouble the same way. Yeah, but, but what about me? Don't worry, Mr. K. It's, it's Super Big Mouth to the rescue! Come back, come back! What about my feelings? Go, Miss Mush! Go! <laughs> You are still here? Sure. This easy with no donkey on back. No, you cannot defeat Le Chef. <laughs> Woohoo! Regardez le mousse au chocolat. Oi, oi, oi! You silly woman with fondue between the ears. Your climbing is no match for Le Chef's savory treat. Ha! It is how you say. Ha. I know, ha. Huh? That's French for this is too easy. Myron, what are you doing? You're only going to make it worse. Sorry, I just thought Le Chef liked the challenge. I bet he could even beat us with one arm tied behind his back. Myron! Ha <laughs> ha, you are right. Le champion, he never resists le challenge. Okay, then I bet you can't do it with your other arm tied behind your back. Ha, <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> and with me on your back. I flap my ear bottoms at you and your challenges. Vive le chef! <laughs> Come on, le chef, almost there. <laughs> C'est difficile. Ah, but le chef... Uh, he shall win! Actually, I win. What? No, c'est impossible! Hey, why climb a wall when you can climb a chef instead? <laughs> you stinky face! You imbecile! As Mr. K might say, could you please shut your trap? No! <laughs> Stupid, stupid big mouth to blame for it. Check it out, Marcel. See? I told you you can do it with two hands tied behind your back, Mr. K. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah. Mr. K, you got another duck letter. Again? What does it say? Bonjour, stinky face. You have won the parkour challenge. I regretfully congratulate you, and I have enclosed your prize. <laughs> now that's a good use for a duck. Understand. I've been in time for school 1,447 days in a row. Never been late. Not even in preschool. Not even in pre preschool. Except today! What? You're not late yet. You've still got a few minutes to make it to the 30th floor. Stop wasting so much time. Get on with it! You're right, Myron. I can make it. Thanks for being so supportive. Wait a sec. I wasn't being supportive. I just wanted you to pull me out of this thing. And so I said to Tommy, you can't have my marble. You want to play for kids. Oh, 
Sorry, Dana, dude. Got my air tank mixed up with my helium tank during refill time. And now I got the floaties. <laughs> Need any Whoa. help? <laughs> Lewis? Please say no, please say no, please say no. Nah, uh, I'm okay. I think. That's great. I gotta go. See ya! Okay, see you later, Dana. Huh? Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's almost time to ring the morning bell! You okay, Mr. K? Why doesn't he answer me? Do I have to do everything myself? <laughs> now, which one is the bell again? Oh, no! Cherie's gonna wake up! She always does her best learning when she's asleep. Oh, she looks like she needs help. I don't have the time! Dana! I can't find Fluffy! He's gone! Totally gone! One minute, I'm combing his quills. The next minute, he's gone! I'm sure he'll show up, Mauricia. <laughs> now, if I don't make it to the 34 in the next few seconds, I'll be late! What? Who cares? There's a frightened porcupine missing out there! Only nine more floors to go! So close! Hmm. You're right, Mauricia. Who cares if I break some silly old best ever perfect record? What record? Tell me, tell me! Just the school's all-time perfect attendance record, which I can set today if I run up to class. Right now! Why didn't you say so? I love setting records! Like when I jumped the most ever kindergarten kids while blindfolded! <laughs> Go for the gold, Dana! <laughs> Technically, it's a gold star. No, that's not the bell. <laughs> nope. Next one. <laughs> Gotta remember to fix that one. That's no bell. Oh, but hey, it's got quite a ring to it. Yow! Hit me! Too fast! <gasps> no! Bring it back, please! <laughs> All the erasers. <coughs> That's my job. <coughs> Mrs. Jules asked me to <coughs> because you were running late. Running late? <coughs> it would be great if you could help me. Ah, uh, I know. Use a super vacuum in the closet. That will suck up all the chalk dust. <coughs> Gotta run. But I, I, I don't know how it works. Could you? The bell should have rung by now. I'm never gonna make it. Hmm. Maybe this is the bell. Hey. Let's see what this one does. Still nothing. Maybe this one. You don't want to be late, do you? No, but... <gasps> oh. Something here doesn't feel right. It doesn't? I mean, I made it on time. Set a record. 
but none of my friends are here to enjoy it with me. Oh, them. Don't worry. I bet they'll have the wildest excuses for why they're so late. You mean like chalk dust storms? And missing pets? <laughs> Helium filled holes and tuba related mishaps? Yes. <laughs> Such imaginations. But, but maybe they're true. <laughs> oh, Dana. <laughs> if they were true, you would have stopped to help them. Right? <laughs> Quickly now, to your seat before the bell rings. I need to take attendance. I can't find Fluffy! <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, all right. Mrs. Jules, as much as it must pain you to hear this, you'll have to forget my perfect attendance record. Nothing is perfect until all my friends are okay. What gives? I thought you were off to set some kind of record today. Oh, um, oh that. It's no big deal. No way. While I was stuck up there, I read about it in this school newspaper. The editor probably just had to fill space. Um, aren't you the editor, Dana? Okay, okay. It was a big deal. But so are my friends, right? I mean, what's so great about being on time 1,447 days in a row anyway? Or even 1,448? Especially if you get there all alone. True that. But you know, you're only late if you get to class after the bell rings. It still didn't ring? No, dude. I'm the one who rings it. And I've been up in that tree. No worries. Lewis! Lewis! Where are you? I'm trying to ring that bell. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah, this looks like the bell. Who installed a mushroom shooter in my office anyway? I'll find that bell soon enough! <laughs> you still have time to get to class. But I'll never make it. Not if you take the stairs. Enough of the fun! Oh, I pressed everything else. This must be the bell. Rondi, here. Steven. Here. Go, go, go. Myron. Here. Dana. Dana. Here. Right on time. You did it, Dana. You set a new record. Woohoo! I know. And I'm so glad you could all be here for it. Oh, one more thing. I believe this is yours, Steven. My newspaper. Oh, thank you. Now I can read you your horoscope, Mr. Pumpkin. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. I believe it's time for a celebration. Ah! I'm late for class. Today is 1,448 days without being late. Just can't wait for 1,449. Yay! Okay, Mr. K, but this is the last time.
So cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I wanna get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. the new recipe mushroom surprise. You try, no? No thanks, Miss Mush. We're just going to the cafeteria to finish our essays. We're writing about what we want to be when we grow up. I know what I'm going to be. Real Extreme! An extreme action star! You're going to see me blading across the desert, getting air over an iceberg, grinding on a volcano, only three words in my essay. Action, action, action! Ooh, pony-headed girl have big future. What rest of you say? I'm gonna be class president. Class, class president, president of the universe! <laughs> At least until I find an even more important job. Well, I'm going to invent a new, more efficient language. Everyone in the world will speak numbers instead of words. Uh -huh. 79, 13, 11, 28, 5. 107, 12, 46, 81. Isn't that just so 34, 72, 8? <laughs> Enough with the 42, 9! Um, I'm actually considering many careers, like maybe a dentist. Aha! You still not decide? Well, not really, but... Good! You need help! <laughs> What's that about? Kids! Good news! I become career counselor! You try, no? Miss Mush, weren't you just trying to feed us Mushroom Surprise? Yes, but now I tell future career! Really? How do you do that? I feed you mushroom surprise. Look! I see future in stains on bowl. It like reading tea leaves, but with mushroom surprise. Boy who eat this, he become fireman. This girl, she doctor. This guy, he get the crazy man job. Oh boy. Hmm. Ah. Stupid machine! Oh. Hmm. Something oddly familiar about this disgusting stain. I'll have to ask Miss Mush about this. You try, yes? No, I'm okay, Miss Mush. Thanks. Todd, you don't care about future? Let me try. What? That's right. Miss Mush, I'll have one steaming hot bowl of the future, please. But you already know your future career. Yeah, and it's so super cool, isn't it? I just want to be absolutely sure that's what I'm going to do. Alicia, that's mushroom surprise. Relax. I'm not actually eating it. Fluffy. You know what to do. Mmm, yummy yum. Ooh, you eat fast. More? Nope. Just my future career, please. So, what's it say? Will 
I become one of the greatest extreme heroes ever? Or just a minor superstar with a loyal following? Hmm. I see here excitement. Yes. Action. That's me. Oh, you definitely become... Tell me, tell me. Milkmaid. A milk what? Milkmaid, you girl who go around milk the cow. It's super fun. Yeah, super fun. So, who knows? Once you try it, you might like being a milkmaid. Here, cow. Come on, boy. Time to, you know. Huh. <sighs> My life, it's so over. I might as well give up now. Just think of this as research for your essay. And hey, you might even enjoy it. Doubt it. Well, I've got to go. Miss Mush wants to tell me if I'll get the career I want. Good luck. Ugh. If this is going to be my slow, sad, boring, pathetic cow milking life, I'd better get used to it. Ugh. Come on. You know the deal. Just fill it already, Kate. You so don't want me to actually try milking you. Okay, fine. But this is gonna be just as boring for you as it is for me. Hey, get back here! Nice try, but you've never met a milkmaid like me. Ready to fill this yet? You know, that career does sound better than being president of the universe. Thanks! Next? Miss Mush, you got a big fat spider behind you. What? Oh, I thought I'd cook all of those. Done. My future career, please. Well, I gotta say I appreciate a challenge. But face it, you'll never outrun these wheels. is hooping it harder. Miss Mush, what's the meaning of this? Oh, that. It your future career stain from the last time you eat here. What? Well, that can't be. This stain looks like... like a... You? Principal of Wayside. No. Mm. Can we try that again? Maybe go for a different career. Something that truly reflects the razzle-dazzle dynamo that is me. Sure. Why not? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Ah, little spicy! <laughs> You're mine now, cow. Myron? What? I was hungry! There's nothing to eat in that cafeteria. Hey, what's with the booby traps? I'm trying to catch me a cow. What are you guys doing here with those pails? Duh, we dumped our bowls out too and had Miss Mush read our fortunes. Yeah, you think you're the only one with a career in the milk industry? And you looked like you were having so much fun. Really? But wait, Miss Mush said all of you would milk cows? Why would she do that? Okay, now what career does it predict for me? Same, you be principal. Oh, no, 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 let me try again. Okay, maybe this time I could be an astronaut, or a golf pro, or even <gasps> a hen bottle. No, you be principal. <laughs> hey, I sell out mushroom surprise. That never happened before. What? No, 
no! That can't be! I'm surprised, too. Who can predict such a thing as this? Wait a minute. You do predictions, don't you? You're a fortune teller. Yes, of course. But also a good way to get rid of last week's mushroom surprise. You like, no? No! <laughs> Miss Mush, why'd you tell all of us we'd be milkmaids and milkmen? That what I saw in bottom of bowl. Milk is job. Oh, if only I'd been that lucky. What the problem be? You bring so much milk for Miss Mush. What do you mean? I never got a chance to collect any milk. Neither did we. Then where I get all milk from? I think I know the answer to that question. That explains why I get so many porcupine needles in pies. Ah, uh, I guess I'm not a milkman. What am I gonna do with all these promotional pails? Myron, don't feel so bad. What I learned is that whatever job I'll do in the future, I'm gonna do it in my own fun way. I will make it my own, just like you did. Whether it's extreme sports, or extreme dairy. Or extreme promotion. Or extreme dentistry. Or extreme 135611. Or extreme baking. I don't need a fortune teller to tell me what I'm gonna do with my life. I already know. My career essay, just four words. Action, 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 and fun! Yay! Hmm? Psst. Why don't you whip me up another batch of that mushroom surprise? <laughs> Spicy! Principal Kids Water! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you all! This is so unexpected! What do you want? Um, uh, Mr. K, did you choose yourself to be Wayside's Principal of the Year again? Yes. Is there a problem with that? Well, don't you think the students should have a say in this contest? The who did's? The students. You know, all the little people in this building. Oh, them! Yes! They love me! <laughs> Just watch. Show me the love, you whatchamacallits. I have gum in my hair. All right, class. Is everyone prepared for our pop quiz final exam? Pop quiz final exam? Todd, no outbursts, or I'll have to send you home on the kindergarten bus. Uh. Yes, Todd. Mrs. Jules, what are we being tested on? If I told you that, that would be giving you the answers. No cheating, Todd. <laughs> Does everyone know the rule when we take exams here at Wayside? Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dana. <clears throat> no talking during pop quiz final exams. That's correct, Dana. You get to hand out today's exam while I go for a high score. This thing's blank. Whatever, let's get started. Psst, Dana, does Mrs. Jules have to do that while we're taking our test? Todd! Do you have to disrupt the class, or would you like me to send you home on the kindergarten bus right now? I can't take that kindergarten bus again. He's so cute. Love. Ow! What the? I think this is yours. I don't want it. Okay. I'll read it to you. What? No, no, no. Mauricia ah. says, no. Dear Todd, I really like you. Give it to me. Ahem. Give me the note. You don't want to get in trouble, right? So let me just answer the note for you. What? No, you can't do that. Todd. Do you have change for a dollar? Thank you. You're welcome. Todd, 
No talking. I think that's great, Mauricia. I really like you, too. Side Todd. Hey, I never write that. I think Todd would say something like, and the Eric's rule. Uh -huh. Ow! How about, I love all Eric's. They rock! Todd loves the Eric's. If Mauricia hears that, she's gonna have a hissy. Oh, Todd. Wah! <laughs> <gasps> I got a free ball! <laughs> That's a good one, but what Todd really should have written was this. <gasps> oh, wow. No, like this. I think more like this. <laughs> Mr. K? <laughs> they didn't even stop to hug me. That's because they heard the bell and were running to class, Mr. K. No, that's not it. Yes, it is. Happens every day. No, they, they, they don't like me. <laughs> oh, Lewis, how do I make the Whatchamacallits like me? <laughs> um, be nice to them? That's it. How about I bribe them? Now that's the plan. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> oh, class, I need a break from all this teaching. So, stay in your seats and finish your tests. Or else. See you soon, class. Psst, Dana, where's the note? Ahem. Well, Todd, it started out on Mauricia's desk and was thrown at you. But you missed it and it got passed between the Eric's and then on to me, then Myron, desk to desk, student to student, until it finally ended up back on your desk where it has been sitting for the last four minutes and 35 seconds. <sighs> Dear Mauricia, the days grow longer every second I'm without you but I still love the Eric's more than you. As I gaze at you from across the room, one thing enters my mind. Myron is the best. Your feet are smelly. You smile like a jack-o'-lantern? <laughs> I didn't write any of this. Yikes, Mauricia can't see this. See what, Todd? How much you love me? <laughs> Todd, did you just throw a million little pieces of paper up in the air? Uh, um... No! These million pieces are actually mine, Mrs. Jules. I'll take care of them. Phew. Wait, what do you mean by that? Yikes! you're doing, you're playing hard to get. Green game! Uh -huh. Todd, you've made me tilt. What is the meaning of this? It's my, uh, test paper. I'm just handing it in. Oh, very well then. Let's see how you've scored. Now I know how to win over the whatchamacallits. Mr. K, I think you're overthinking this. Nonsense. I'm the principal of this school. I never think. I dream of amusement park rides and free ice cream every day. They've got to like me then. I'm pretty sure the kids like you already. Oh! Yeah, right. I'm gonna need that in writing. Until then, Roller coaster here, bumper cars here, cotton candy everywhere! Yes, that should make them like me. Hmm, you capitalized love correctly. Oh. But I'm not so sure that's how you spell smelly feet. <laughs> What else does it say? Well, he compared you to a pumpkin. What? That's actually a compliment. No, it's not. B minus. I would have given you a better grade, but you made Mauricia's nose too long in this drawing. 
Let's see. No. I'm finally done Wayside World. The kids will love me after they get a load of this fun-filled extravaganza. Hmm, maybe I should have made this thing bigger. Whoa, 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 whoa! There it is! What's the meaning of this? Why aren't you in class? Well, uh, you see? What's this? The name's been torn off, and it's got hearts all over it. That's because it's a love note from... From our entire class. For me? Really, it is. See all the different handwriting? jack o' lantern smile. Why, yes, I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> this must be about me. Actually, Mr. Kid Swatter. Please, Maricia, I'm already in trouble. If they find out I had anything to do with that note, I'll be riding that kindergarten bus home forever. Okay. But only if you do something for me. Okay, whatever. Ah, oh, yes. They even notice my smelly feet. The children do love me after all. No need to turn the school into an amusement park with cotton candy everywhere. What amusement park? Oh, nothing. Just some silly idea I had before I knew how much I truly meant to all of you. Wait a minute. Did you say cotton candy everywhere? <laughs> There's no cotton candy. Hello. Lewis, get rid of the cotton candy! And now I'm just gonna put this love note from you, whatever call it, where I can see it all day long. They love me, they love me, they truly, truly love me. Oh, Todd, remember that thing you promised me before? Yes, I remember. You want me to write you a new note. But the thing is, I didn't even write you the last one. Don't worry. We'll help you again. Dearest Maricia, you are so extreme. <laughs> and almost as popular as Myra. Oh, 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 And the oh. Eric's rule. Oh, Todd.